All right, welcome back to the Gallant Goblin Plays Blood on the Clock Tower. This week we are joined by Paizo Freelancer Grady. Grady, say hello and stop muting yourself. Hello. <laughs> Ryan Terry, the safety professional, but not necessarily the safety expert I learned today. <laughs> That's right. And we have Alex, uh, professional game designer and Paizo Freelancer as well. Thank you. We have Daniel, who does layout and writing for TTRPGs. Welcome, Daniel. Hi. We have uh, Ready to Scratch. We have Catboy. Meow, meow, wow, wow. <laughs> Demon in Waiting. We have Victory Bell. <laughs> we have Professional Clown Eric. Hey, guys. How's it going? <laughs> we have uh, Improv Comedian Graduate of 2023, Jesse. Hello. We have professional streamer, Messy B. Messy B20, I guess I should call you. <laughs> Welcome, anyway. Messy. We have professional dungeon master and professional <laughs> blood on the clock tower player, Brad. Hello, hello. We have professional, professional game designer and layout <laughs> designer and editor and writer and author and everything, BJ Hensley. Hi. <laughs> and we have our original OG, Glenn. <laughs> Say hello, Glenn. Hey. <laughs> well, all right. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and hand out our tokens here. So uh, be on the lookout for those. Put your uh, put your poker faces on, your poker hats on, because we are again highlighting the Hatter using our the hats off script that they're using to announce this uh, particular new character. There are seven townsfolk two, well, one, two, or three outsiders in play because we have a sentinel, two minions, and one demon, and here are your characters, everybody. So take a look at that, and I am going to go ahead and send everybody into the night phase so we can get this game started. You know, my first night takes a little bit longer because I have to explain all the characters to everybody, so I'll let y'all chat while we do the night phase. So good night, everybody. Oh. Welcome back. It is just us now. We are muted. I'm going to open up my character sheet so everybody can see all the characters we have in play this time. There we go. So let's start at the top of our script. We've got a few more players this week, so we're going to have a more interesting game, I think. Um, we're starting off with Grady, our bounty hunter. Making sure nobody can hear me. I'm always paranoid that everybody's going to be able to hear me. Uh, Grady the Bounty Hunter, you start knowing one evil player. If the player you know dies, you learn another evil player tonight. One townsfolk is evil. So I have to choose one of these townsfolk around the table to make them evil. And I haven't decided who that's going to be yet, but we'll come back to that. And if Grady successfully kills an evil player, the one that he knows about, then he will learn another one. So let's move on from there. We have Ryan Terry, our devil's advocate, each night choose a living player. Different to last night, if executed tomorrow, they don't die. The devil's advocate is our first minion, and so he's going to be uh, hopefully protecting people to help his bluffs, to help his team make it through to the very end. And his demon in this game is indeed Alex, who's going to be very excited to be our Vortox. Each night choose a player, they die. Townsfolk ability yields false info. So the Vortox poisons the well. Anytime anyone around this table is going to learn something, it has to be false. So unlike with poisoning or unlike with drunkenness, in this case, it just has to be false because those can sometimes be true. But with the Vortox, it has to be false. So we'll be going around and figuring that out as we, as we get to it. Next up, we have Daniel, who is our preacher. Each night, choose a player. A minion, if chosen, learns this. They learn you've been chosen by a preacher. And all chosen minions have no ability. So he can neuter some of these uh, minions around the table, namely Ryan Terry and BJ Hensley. So be on the lookout for that. Next up, we have Catboy, our fortune teller, who is 
not evil this time, lucky cat boy. Each night, choose two players. You learn if either is a demon. There is a good player that registers as a demon to you. And in a Vortox game, of course, he's going to learn the exact opposite of the correct information. And we'll have to choose who is going to be his uh, red herring here in a moment. Uh, and there's apparently a couple of ways to play this when you have the red herring on a Vortox game. And I'll explain that when we get to it as well. Uh, Victor Bill is our outsider. He is the recluse. Excuse me. They are the recluse. You might register as evil and as a minion or a demon, even if dead. So an outsider who can throw off the counts of other people around the table. Of course, it's a Vortox game, so their counts can be thrown off anyway, um, but can cause a little bit of havoc around the table. Next up, we have Eric, who is our empath. Each night, you learn how many of your two alive neighbors are evil. In this case, he's going to be learning false information. Um, but he's going to be incentivized to start killing off his neighbors, namely Jesse and Victory Bell, because the more people he can kill off, he can extend his empath range because it reaches to alive players. So if he can get rid of Victory Bell, who might be willing to die because they're just a evil smelly recluse not evil just a smelly recluse then his ability will reach over to catboy and so on our next townsfolk is jesse our raven keeper if you die at night you are woken to choose a player you learn their character so the raven keeper is going to be presumably attempting to lure the demon into killing her to killing them and if they do then they can choose uh, somebody else around the table and learn which character they are of course I'm going to have to lie to them because there's a Vortox in play. Next up, we have Messy B20, our innkeeper. Each night, choose two players. They can't die tonight, but one is drunk until dusk. So it's going to be protecting, but also souring the well. That is Messy B as our innkeeper. And Brad, our professional, is playing the Hatter. If you die today or tonight, the minion and demon players may choose a new minion and demon character to be. So they, the demon is definitely going to be aiming to kill the Hatter if they can, because it allows them to switch up and become whatever demon they want to be. The minions can choose whatever minions they want to be. It's a new version of those characters. So if BJ Hensley uses her assassin ability and decides, and Alex then, oh, excuse me, Ryan Terry then decides to be the assassin, they can get a refreshed version of that power, which is fantastic. Uh, let me check my chat here. Mr. Mystery, hello, I sadly can't stick around, but I would request that you inform Brad uh, that you do, in fact, have the votes. I will do that, Mr. Mystery. Uh, thank you so much. And again, there's Mr. Teddy Jr. in our chat. That's Larry. Thank you so much for monitoring our chat and our stream. Larry, we really appreciate you. Uh, so this Brad, who is our second outsider, we could have the option of having one or three outsiders, but we're going to go with the standard two this time. So we're not using our Sentinel. We have our outsiders as being Victory Bell's Recluse and Brad as our Hatter. Our final minion is BJ Hensley, our assassin. Once per game at night, choose a player. They die, even if for some reason they cannot. So for example, they are protected by the Devil's Advocate or protected by the Innkeeper. Then that uh, a power of the assassin by BJ can get through those, those protections and kill them. So that is BJ. And finally, we have Glenn, who is our alchemist, who has a not in play minion ability. Um, though in this case, I'm going to have to lie to, to Glenn about what power he actually has. So let's go ahead and tell you what that is. Um, Glenn is our alchemist. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little token here that says he is the alchemist. But he is going to have the power of, and hopefully he doesn't see this change. I don't think he does. He's going to have the abilities of the poisoner but I'm gonna tell him he has the abilities of the devil's advocate. Let me go ahead and make this good. Yeah, this is our good poisoner. Um, because he gets false information, he is gonna to be told that he has the powers of the devil's advocate, which is an in play ability. So that should be fun. All right, so let's go ahead and choose what we're gonna have going on here. So our bounty hunter, we have to make one of these people evil. Ooh, who is a fun person to make evil? Uh, has to be a townsfolk and not an outsider. Um, who would enjoy being evil? Hmm. Oh, this is a tough one, actually. I feel like it might have to be Eric. I think it might have to be Eric, but I'm afraid I'm really stacking this good team, or this evil team, with Alex and Ryan Terry and Eric. But Eric's not going to know who the other evil players are. 
So I think that that might be a lot of fun. So I'm going to go ahead. Uh, won't be too bad because Eric's not going to know. Uh, but if anybody can figure out who's on the evil team, I think it's Eric. Uh, so we'll do that. But we can't tell Grady that that is who the evil player is. Or we can't tell him any evil player because he's going to get false information because of Vortox is in play. So I have to tell him somebody else. And I think what I might do... Ooh, who's going to want to stay alive? Um, ooh, this is a tough one. Maybe I will show them... Ooh, Glenn, who's going to be the alchemist, could be a potential one. Or Messy B, the innkeeper. I might do messy B. I'm gonna. Sh I am. This is not. This is who I'm gonna show them, but it's not gonna be the actual one. Let's see. So uh, this would be here. So again, have to give false information showing messy B. But if messy B dies, I shouldn't show Grady another good player, um, because if the player you learn dies, you learn a Neville evil player. But in this case, I learn another good player. So that'd be good. Uh, Devil's Advocate don't have anything to do. Vortox don't have to do anything. Fortune Teller, the red herring. So Victory Bell's already going to be a red herring because it can register as the demon. Um, let's do... Ooh. Let's do Brad. Brad's going to want to stay alive. If this says one... There is a good player that registers. It doesn't matter if it's Townsfolk or uh, Outsider. So we're going to make that Brad to put a little pressure on Brad over there. Uh, Recluse don't have any setup. Empath is good. Ravenkeeper's good. Innkeeper's good. Hatter, Assassin, and Poisoner. I think that is all the, or the Alchemist. I think that is all the setup I need to do. And I have these little numbers here to help me remember what order I'm going in the night. So, first night, the Preacher. But first of all, we're going to wake up our, um, our evil team to tell them who else is on their team. So let's go ahead and get started with that well hello Hi. how excited are you for this i am so excited when i got my character i was like oh my god i have so much responsibility but it's so exciting because vortox really fucks this game up yes i was so worried that you came in a little bit late to the game today and i was so worried you weren't going to be here so we're so happy to see you um oh, girl. for right now i'm just here to tell you who's on your evil team and your evil team is DJ Hensley Ooh. and Ryan Terry. <laughs> yes! <laughs> so, quite the A team here. Um, that is all I'm here yeah. to tell you from now. Oh, I'm going to give you your bluffs. I almost always forget oh, about yeah. bluffs. Let me take a look at. I was going to kill Ryan Terry if he was on my team. <laughs> just <to be> <laughs> <laughs> I know you were. I know you were. I might have. Yeah. Um, Ooh, okay, all right. I'm looking for good ones to give you here. Um, okay. Um, no, huh? no, I'm gonna give you, <laughs> oh, you're gonna hate this. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna challenge, I'm gonna challenge you on this one. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Because I always want to give you things, some things that are easy to hide as, and some things that allow you to shape the game a little bit, right? Uh, Absolutely. So, and in this game, there's so many characters in play that there's not a lot of uh, free ones to show you. Uh, there's a yeah, few. The there's of course a few more that that are not in play, but I'm going to give you the Plague Doctor. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. The Courtier or the Courtier. Mm. And the savant. Uh -oh. That might be one, maybe for you and Ryan Terry. I think they all have the most experience in the game. So coming up with savant right. information, uh, Ryan Terry may enjoy that, or you may enjoy that. But I'm, I'm going to let you have I'll fun. I'll give that to it. Ryan Terry. You know what? He can, <laughs> he can be a good savant. I'll, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll figure it out with my people. But thanks, Theo. I'm really excited. I am <laughs> excited too. I will wish you luck, and I'm going to continue on with my night phase. Yeah, thanks. Bye. Well, hello. Hello. How excited are you for this? This is going to be an interesting one. Well, I'm here to tell you your team. The first uh, to start with us. Uh, thank you for following us. Uh, a e treaties, I think it was. I'm terrible at pronouncing anything. People who watch me on YouTube know this already. Um, but your demon is Alex. Alex. Okay. Yes. 
and your fellow minion is BJ. BJ's also often evil on our team. Oh, wow. Thank you for the raid as well. Wow. 47 viewers. We appreciate that. So we're playing Blood on the Clock Tower here, and uh, we're just getting started. So, uh, Ryan Terry, that is your evil team. Are you good to go? I'm good to go. All right. I wish you good luck. Thank you. We can... Hey, BJ. Hello. How are you today? I am fantastic. I'm just here to tell you who is on your team. <laughs> so your demon for this game is Alex. Awesome. And your minion, your fellow minion, is Ryan Terry. Oh, that's it's, a great team. It is a great team. Sweet. Uh, thank you, Atreides. Uh, we got quite a raid coming into our Twitch stream right now. So um, Hi, keep up with chat. Yeah, thanks, everybody, for joining us today. We really appreciate you all. This is going to be a good game. All right, BJ, uh, you have any questions about your ability there? No, I mean, basically, I just get to kill people, which is well, awesome. Well, you get so. to kill one person. Well, I get, to do, I get to do it every night. No, it's okay. once per game Aww. at night. Once per so, game. So make it make it count. Make it count. I will. All Absolutely. right. Good luck. Thanks. Oh, thanks for following us next Tuesday. Right. Let's see. Where somebody we was. Now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll yeah. try to put it under the desk. It's sort so of hear noise. I, okay. find, it, I find it comforting. Yeah. No, I find the noise comforting. I find it comforting. Yeah, my son is always doing a Rubik's Cube for like years. I have He's constantly had one, so it's nice. The one that I'm using, each color has a different texture right, so on it, so I can chest. do it without looking. Hey, Daniel. Hey, Theo. We got uh, quite a busy uh, stream going on here, so uh, just looking at the chat a little bit too. But Daniel, how do you uh, do? You feel comfortable with your character there? Um, yeah, I think so. Uh, is it basically if I choose? Yeah, you're going to choose a player, Sorry, and uh, if you if you happen to pick a minion, they get neutralized. Uh, as and, long as you're still alive. But I don't know that. But I don't know that they're a minion. No, you don't. You don't get told anything. Okay. Um, but the other players, uh, the minion will find out that they've been chosen by a preacher, but not necessarily who the preacher is. So I'm here okay. to get your first choice. Um, let's start with Ryan. He's always a good. A good place to start. Ryan Terry? All right. I will do yep. that. Good luck. All right. Well, hello. I got another chat request from Theo. Yes. Uh, I am just here to tell you that you have been chosen by a preacher. <laughs> Grand. <laughs> so uh, that your ability is going to be neutralized until the preacher is dealt with. Well, I know when that happens. Um, I guess we'll find out, won't we? Well, I um, know it's just more mechanics question. Like, if the preacher is killed, do you tell me that my ability works now? Um, I don't think I tell you. I don't think there's anything in the rules to tell me that I tell you that. But I'm just going to come to you every night and just still get your information, I suppose. Understood. Uh, if somebody's in chat and knows this a little bit better, you can let me know. But uh, as far as I know, you don't get a notification about it. You just, we're just going to, it's just going to work again. Thank you. All, All right. right. Good luck. Hello, Glenn. Okay, so any questions? Wasn't about sure. You? Yeah, so how do I choose from a not in play? In other words, I don't know who's in play. No, I I, I choose your ability. So oh, you choose it. Okay, you so have be? you have the ability of the devil's advocate. Okay, done. All right. So does that make sense? Easy. That's easy. Yep. All right. Um, so let me see if you let me double check and see if you act on the first. But I'm still team. on the good team. You are right? still on the good team. You just have the power of the devil's advocate. Um, okay. And so let me just check real fast. Um, yeah. So I, I can think I can. Yeah, I think I can go ahead and select your uh, person now if you want to tell me who you want to protect. Oh, OK. Let's see. I will say. I'll say BJ. Okay. I will take care of it. Good luck. Okay. See you. All right. Let's just do a check in with everybody in the audience real fast. Again, thank you all for joining us. We really appreciate it. So, yes, we are in a Vortex game here. And um, Glenn is really our alchemist. Um, but because it's a Vortex game, he was told something that's not the truth. He was told that he has the power of the devil's advocate, but he really has the power of the poisoner. And so today he decided to poison EJ, which was a solid choice. 
So that is taken care of. So if BJ does attempt to assassinate somebody today, it is not going to work. So excellent choice on Glenn's part, just out of the blue there. All right, let's continue our rounds, shall we? Hello. Hello. Ooh, it's a complex game. So um, I'm here to get your choice. We must stop meeting like this. <laughs> uh, Grady. All right. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, hello. Hey, Theo. How's it going? Uh, it is going very good. Uh, I have a few things to tell you today. Uh oh, that's not good. <laughs> Give me the good news first. So the good news is that you are the empath and you are evil. I'm evil. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> All right. Uh, the second thing to tell you is your empath reading. Okay. And your empath reading is a two. A two. That's interesting. So a rules check. If I'm evil, is the empath reading showing me evil people or is it showing me people that are not on my team no it's always going to show you how many of your live players are evil so it doesn't change what your ability does okay gotcha so it'd be supposedly telling me two people are evil okay cool. so That's yeah all you are you are reading your two neighbors as evil which possibly means there's a drunk or poisoning or something going on that's gonna be interesting okay cool so i'm evil got it thank right. you good luck thank you uh, so yes, uh, Eric was turned evil by our bounty hunter, Grady. But Grady's not going to be told that Eric was evil. It's going to be told that Nessie is evil. But giving a two because I have to give false information because there is a Vortox in play. And we have, so I can't give him the true information. So I decided to go ahead and give him a two. So let's see. I think Eric might be smart enough to figure out that something is amiss here. Uh, was, does have the recluse here, which is going to make a little sense, but I think he might think that Jesse is then evil. So we're going to see how that plays out, which I think is going to be really fun. Um, all right, we're going to keep moving around our table. Hello, cat boy. Hello. Uh, Are you feeling particularly catty tonight? Um... In a good way. In a good, in a way. good way. You are on the good team, so I'm here yes. to go ahead and get your first fortune reading. Um. Okay. I'm gonna play it safe here. Um. I'm gonna pick Ryan, Terry, and Eric. You choose Ryan, Terry, and you choose Eric, and you learn that yes, one of them is the demon. Oh. Okay. Off to a solid start, my friend. Unless I'm the drunk, I'm watching you. <laughs> well, you'll watch me in the recap later on. <laughs> and you'll know for sure then. Okay. You got this, cat boy. Hey, thank you. Bring it home. I'll see you later. Hey, Grady. Yeah. Hello, my mom is calling me. Oh, well, I'm just here to quickly tell you that Messy B is evil. Wait, hold on. Sorry, yes, what's Sorry, up? Man. I'm just here to tell you that Messy B is evil. Okay, well, so are you. Goodbye. <gasps> Bye. All right, I think we're good to go for the night, so let's go ahead and go into the day phase. Today's video is brought to you by Hit Point Press. The deck of many animated 5e reference cards can bring even more magic to your games, and they make fantastic gifts. Get animated spell cards, condition cards, or townsfolk NPCs. You can even get in-game items like the deck of illusions and the deck of many things. Get your deck of many animated cards using the info icon in the corner or in the doohickey down below. Welcome back, everybody. Uh -oh. Hi. I don't think I got... So you're not uh, always... Did you uh, get your token, Nessie? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I got my token. Okay, you're not always visited. Uh, some people are visited oh. the first night, some people are visited the other night, some people aren't visited in the night at all. So oh. just be aware yeah, of that. Is there like a little asterisk near your character? Because sometimes you don't get anything until, like on the first night. It's just like 
on the other night only because i've had this happen to me before <laughs> all right so everybody now imagine if you will a most curious and quaint little village named goblinshire a place where kobolds whisper and secrets lurk behind every crooked door but oh what's this a dreadful start to the day indeed as the sun peeks its timid head over the hills the town awakens to a scene most macabre our beloved and attractive town storyteller, a weaver of words and spinner of tales, found impaled upon the hands of the grand old clock tower. How positively ghastly. The clock's hands, once keepers of time, now sinister pointers to a crime most foul. Now, now, my peculiar friends in your little circular houses, this is no time for idle tea sipping and cake nibbling. A demon, a vow creature of the night, lurks amongst us, disguised in friendly guise. It's up to you, yes, you, the villagers of Goblinshire to sniff out the sinister being. You must converse, conspire, and yes, even accuse, but beware. Trust is a fragile thing, easily shattered like a teacup dropped from a mad hatter's table. So gather round, don your thinking caps, and let your suspicions fly as freely as a bat from the belfry. Will you find the fiend, or will chaos reign as the demon dances in the shadows? Only time tick-tocking away on the hands of that very clock teller will tell. Good luck, everybody. That's the clock tower oh, that you're hanging no. from. So okay, I actually I have some information. I'm so I actually have some information. I'm the bounty hunter, and I was told that Victory Bell was made evil. <laughs> I'm coming at night one before anything else happened. They always choose me. I <laughs> could be drugged. There's a lot of sources of poisoning and whatnot, but that's what I got. No, there's another reason why you got that reading. Why is that? Because I'm the recluse. You're the recluse? Hang on. Yes. My register is evil. <laughs> it's told, my bounty hunter told me you were made evil. Uh, Hang on. Wait. It, it's a player you... No, you start knowing one evil player. Yeah. And then... Okay. But like, yeah. does that also mean one townsfolk is evil? That means you don't know. Yeah. You don't always know the same one that you've made evil. Right. Okay. The recluse wouldn't show up. I mean, that's. I mean, I gotta believe it. Actually, yeah, the recluse absolutely could show up as the bounty hunter shit. But but they would be yeah. an evil recluse. Is that right? No. 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 If you read the recluse he... thing, it says you, you, you might actually, register you're as not evil. Supposed to be able to make a, an outsider yeah. evil with the and a separate, and a, maybe a separate player or the same player is yeah. an so evil. So the bounty hunter character. makes someone evil, but then you detect one of the well, evil people. Well, okay. and here's the thing: the recluse is an outsider, so he can't be the evil one because yeah, like, outsiders. Are you saying there's a bounty hunter? Well, and, and yeah, I'm saying I'm the bounty hunter. I was told Victory Bell was evil. If you're the bounty hunter and we kill the recluse, well, necessarily. Oh, okay. Hi, Theo. Yeah. Hello. Hi. How's it going? Uh, I hope we can pull in Ryan Terry, because I'd like to tell him something. But yeah, I'm the Vortex. And so everyone's information's bullshit. <laughs> 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 um, okay. And I'm, I'm bluffing as the courtier. So and okay. I'll make Ryan Terry be the savant. So again, uh, try to make your information seem to like be false, because everyone's information is going to be false as okay. well. Um, so you don't want to be like the only true info for a person out there because then that will indicate that you're evil because you have like a leg up on something. Okay. So, but I should mostly try to somewhat indicate I'm like doctor. Yeah. Fine. Yeah. We can definitely spread that information. Um, yeah, I yes. just, you know, it just, there is a possibility that I got poisoned though. Like in, in our games, the, the, the meta, if one exists is usually mm -hmm. like, um, Ryan, Terry, Eric, or myself often get targeted. Um, also, at the five o'clock position, uh, everyone always goes, this poison's five o'clock when <laughs> with them doubt. Like, and it's just top one, done. Uh, so, yeah. But um, I think it's definitely something we should keep keep on the down low, your role there. And we'll see how we go. Yeah. Uh, do you want to claim uh, maybe an outsider? Maybe. And then, I mean, no one no 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 suspect. Well, we, Recluse it, already got claimed by Victory Bell. Uh, just did they? Oh, perfect. I'll um, note that down. Um, Thank you very much. So the other ones may not be. I don't think the other ones will, would come out. So yeah, I'll I'll, I'll figure out what. Yeah, it's, I was claiming like play Doctor Oheader and like no one will suspect. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. So I am either uh, the courtier, the night watchman, or the Raven's Keeper. Okay. 
and I wish I wish we could move these uh, move our pictures. There's no there. You, okay, I can see through you now. You can click them to make them smaller uh, as well. Okay, so I, I am the innkeeper. I am savant, or I'm the alchemist. Ooh, some interesting options there. Yeah, think about if those. If you're the savant, you should probably do the. Uh, you should probably do a vortex check. Yeah, let's. Uh, Are you thinking artist? Yeah, I was going to say. Oh, I'm I am thinking confused. artist. Because <laughs> yeah. you had me, I was like, wait, what? Okay. No, you're right. I completely. They both get info from the town. From the, uh, yeah. From the storytelling. Okay. All, All right. right. The game is effectively over in terms of town, right? So there are a couple of demons we have to be worried about and thinking about. Hey, Theo, what's going on? Hey. I've just introduced myself to Messi and uh, offered to do a three for three. Messi's declining to uh, give me any information. That's just fine. That's the first day. I get it. So I'm probably going to pop off and talk to other people. Fair enough. Thank you, though. I appreciate it. And there might be four evil people. If Eric is the bounty hunter, there might be four evil people all in play. But I, um, uh, like purchase- I was saying, be- like I was saying before, I think if we, if Victory says they're the re- the recluse, kill- executing them loses us nothing. Yeah, and should give if Eric actually is the bounty hunter, should give him another ping on somebody else, and maybe that well, can validate. And I think, yeah. But announcing to the entire um, crew that he is a bounty hunter could either be a very bold move, um, like or just uh, as a liar, or very tr- like a very good truth thing. But like he just as someone that's who good. As, that's true, yeah. But a lot, of, a lot of powerful roles in here like get wasted because they wait too long. So I mean, mm-hmm. if you just get one good thing off, like that could help. So that may be what he's going for, but. So BJ's the assassin. Okay. Um, so uh, some, uh, you know, uh, Victory Bell tells me that they're the recluse. Eric says that he uh, he might be the bounty hunter. Brad just talked to me about being poisoning me, and so he says that he's a good alchemist. Okay, Brad is Brad is saying a bunch of stuff. Um, I think but Brad I might be to, Brad might I be a reasonable to... kill. If I'm honest, he he came over to me and said that he was the soldier and oh. that he drank with me last night. Sailor. Um, oh. And, and, and asked sailor if that was a big deal. I told him it wasn't. Brian Taylor, I was um, going to say, or you think it's Sailor instead of Soldier? Soldier's not on the script. Yeah, sorry, Sailor. He told me this is Sailor. Thank you. Oh, he told me this okay, is Sailor and that he went drinking with me. I'm saying all the wrong roles today. He's the Sailor and that he went drinking with me. I told him it wasn't any big deal. Uh, but yeah, anyway, um, might be a reasonable kill. I don't know. Uh, but that said, if he's a sailor, it might not work. Uh, but if he's telling you that he's poisoning, that might be also sailor. Who knows? But that's you a know, weird. Yeah. Um, uh, he, he probably will be my first kill because he knows so much. <laughs> he knows too much. Well, also, yeah. could, um, could, you could probably, you could probably do worse. Um, okay, perfect. Um, what do you want to lie to me as then? <laughs> oh my God. God. <laughs> okay. So. Wow, when you mm-hmm. say it like that. Um, wow. Let's see. All right. This is so convincing. <laughs> you know what? Let me get back to you. Let me get back to you. You're going to read me this whole time. Just, so no, maybe, I, maybe I, I do need to pick up my line. Mm. I'm just going to put down red token now. I'm going to okay. put down... Yeah, I'm just going to put down minion roll. There you go. All right, and yeah. uh, I'll leave you to okay. it. All right. Yeah, Slap. Sounds great. It go around strongly with that. They're just like, hey... I'm not gonna give you a three for three or anything, but I will give you a very powerful lead on someone. I feel like that would be strong enough to give to people, you know. Well, and maybe, maybe you're, uh, maybe you can feign to be the the night watch, and I'll back you up. I can be the person who knows who yeah. you are. Okay. All that's, right. That's all it is. Is that you find somebody? Oh, okay. They learn who you are. Thank you. I like. I need to learn how to like how to reasonably bluff and lie in this game so thank you <laughs> okay all right well hey, time's up. oh it's too bad we don't need anyone else I oh thought. no well 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 oh, well no. well yeah well 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 <laughs> well creating alex being it's a deep subject <laughs>
No, I was just announcing that there's the well in the town has been poisoned. <gasps> oh. No. Oh. Uh-oh. That's not good. I've been drinking from it all day. Uh, oh, I only oh that's here. okay. It's not, not deadly. Long. It's just Listeria. It's like, is that why you oh, think you're the no. bounty hunter? That oh. could be problematic. Uh-oh. Mm-hmm. Who thinks he's the bounty hunter? All right. Welcome back oh, to the town square, well, everybody. Well, uh, You can continue your public conversations, and I'll open up the nomination phase in about a minute. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> oh, okay. So does anyone have any tea? Does anyone have any, like, news? Yeah, I'm not going to... Publicly threw out Tina. Yeah, did y'all hear? Oh, I, I was claiming bounty hunter. Uh huh. I'm the bounty hunter. I'm the bounty hunter. Victory Bell is evil. That's what I was told. But he's all. I caught Sounds good enough to me. Hang him. I heard a different bounty hunter would have been on. Just lynch us all right on the boat. Just lynch everybody. Am I traveled? I heard a different bounty hunter actually. Say, say, let me see. Hey, hey, let Brad talk. What? Um, there's a. I've heard my travels of a different bounty hunter ping on Missy B20. Wait, there's a different. Who's claiming bounty hunter? I. Uh, there's a secret. <laughs> Could be anyone. Okay, no, 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 no. No. So Brad was upset that I went to a three for three. I was a little bit like, since I'm brand new, I kind of want to keep oh, particles in my chest. Do, she doesn't know how to do a three for three. Three. <laughs> I know how to do a three for three. I was explained what it is, but uh, okay, I didn't really okay. want to just throw that out on like right. the first no, round. No, and then, yeah, Brad, no, I, I don't like doing three for threes either. Because Wait, so, but, but to, Brad uh, was thirsty to call me a demon, like right when yeah. I was like, "Oh, let me think about that." And Brad was like, "Oh, oh, marking <laughs> you down, marking you down, demon, <laughs> red horns, the whole thing. You've been dancing in the woods with Tichuba, like <laughs> okay. hardcore okay. demon oh, energy oh, from him." Keep it, keep in mind. Hang on, keep it in mind. There's a harpy on the script. So it's uh, so no, no prompting. And, and Brad has chosen to target you, so he may be a good guy. Yeah. That's been chosen. It's already well, well, nominations are open. I'm uh, nominating Victory Brett? Bell. May I say again? I'm nominating Victory Bell. Okay, we're gonna start uh, I here. I know that there is a uh, Vortox on the show. We probably should yeah. kill someone. We have to kill yeah. someone. I was gonna say kill the recluse, but well, let's let Eric have the yeah. floor for a second. It's... Eric, you're nominating yeah. Victory Bell. Why? It's not even day two yet. Go ahead, Eric. No. <laughs> you know I'm breaking with tradition here, but I'm nominating Victory Bell because, as I said at the beginning, I'm the bounty hunter. I was told Victory Bell is evil. Oh. That's that's really mm-hmm. it. And Victory Bell's claiming recluse, which is already kind of a useless role, so I'm kind of right. like okay with it. Wow, I'm right really. here. <laughs> I still have right, All right, I'm Victory Bell. People, <laughs> yeah, I think killing the recluse is probably not yeah. the worst idea anyway. I'm sorry, right. I didn't go this, is a, this is a no lose oh, scenario. Let's, let's let, let Victory Bell have the table real fast. Victory Bell, go ahead. Uh, I just think I would say it's mainly just too early. I'm happy to be on the chopping block because I am the recluse and it is this is a good if no one else, if there's no chef or whatever. I think that if anything. Keep it at six votes, um, in case we get something spicy. I think Eric, you just you kind of dropped the ball. I wanted to see if anyone else had like you know more information to throw out before. Yeah, I wanted to say it night like day one, yeah. just get it out well, there. But yeah, so well, if you want to tell me who your evil teammates I are, that's great. Nominate. I I really was hoping that you would do the nomination like a little bit after we kind of <laughs> why before. so no, now why you you solidified it and now. We're not going to learn anything else. Well, we'll continue to learn as more nominations um, come in, but, but it uh, takes six, yeah, yeah, to be yeah. on the, six to be put up on the block. So I'm going to go ahead and run this vote on Victory Bell. Remember, if you're new to our game, the vote counts I, I when... I will threaten, though, that you are breaking the tradition and you're probably going to curse <laughs> your, you're cursing the town's <laughs> own. And, well, that's wow. your fault. The vote will count when the uh, golden clock hand passes by your town cottage there. Go ahead and start in the countdown now. Six to be put on the block. This is on Victory Bell. Anyone who changes their votes right now will be sus. Don't wait for the last minute. We had no, but like, there's that. also a lot to unpack in those two conversations that just happened. Seven is enough. So I'm sorry, bye. Victory Bell is on the block. <laughs> I have a great nomination. Uh, Brad nominates Brad. Brad nominates Brad. 
Wait, what? what? I'm so what? confused. Do you not make yourself? Go with it. Yes. All right, I'm invincible. I will not die. Okay. Uh, and now, Brad, why should we keep you alive? I don't, I guess. Or you can't, so I'm not going to try it. Prove me. Don't okay. Me. All right. Why are you invincible? Uh, seven votes to tie. I'm someone making almost this exact same play last game. Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, yeah. seven, uh, seven to tie, eight to execute. Who's invincible? The sailor. I guess sailor. Assassin. But also the leech. Also but but, but also the leech is invincible. Devil's advocate. Yeah, I want to test this out. Yeah, I'm the alchemist DA. I picked myself. Yep. Re remember the le leech is uh, oh, five is not enough. enough. I'm just okay. confused. I didn't no, there's a number of there's a number of ways that that could happen, but uh, yeah. Maybe. Hang on, I'm trying to take notes. Who all voted for Brad to die? <laughs> you have to pay attention, Eric. No, no. <laughs> I know, I know. It's shame on me. I'm sorry. I was reading some stuff. Okay, fine. I'll just pass on. Wait, so what? So he's saying he's just, or he he's just offering up a, a free, but I think like it's usually <laughs> good to turn free? to kill anyway. Like you, you don't necessarily want to sink into it. Like you, you want to try and get like if if you. I don't think that that's a reasonable kill. Like anyway, because you don't want to sink into a. Uh, you don't want to waste a town kill. You want to yeah. use it to maybe kill Leechos. Maybe yeah. kill the demon. You're not you're not learning the anything. Minion. minion yeah. like, well, I could be Leechos. I don't know. I won't know now. You could, you could, you could be but you were so saying you were not that. Chose, no, that is true, but ultimately, like... Demon? Final call for and nominations. Leech. Final call for nominations. Wait, who is invincible? I don't get it. The I don't sailor. Sailor. Right. 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 But also the leech. The leech, and then the if The leech or anyone the who the devil's advocate is targeted. Devil's advocate, yeah. All right, I'm not hearing any more oh. nominations, so I'll call it in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Victory Bell in Breaking with Tradition is I executed know. on day I'm one and dies, and the game continues. I just, I was gonna throw a party on the first night, and you killed me, and now I can't die the second night, and. <laughs> You don't, you don't get a party. You don't get a party. Evil team is. I'll right. throw a party if you tell me who the evil team is. Good and night, everybody. Call, we can call your name. I'll throw a wake for you. I have no friends. That's why you're... All right. It is just you and me again, uh, viewers. Welcome to our game. Uh, yeah, welcome to Tactical Grace and and Estrio number one and Sweetie Bambi and uh, yeah, uh, Jake uh, and Atreides. Thank y'all so much for joining us today and everybody else in chat today. So uh, we are in night two of our game. The Victory Bell was executed and died. Brad, our Hatter, tried to throw themselves under the truck but was unsuccessful, probably because they didn't get in there before Eric made a move. Eric, our evil empath who was made evil by the existence of our bounty hunter. All right, so let's go ahead and continue with our evening. So first of all, we go to our preacher. Well, hello, Daniel. Hello. You get to make another choice. Um, let's see. I don't really have a whole lot to go on at this point, so I'm going to say Glenn. Okay, I'll make a note of it. Good luck. All right. And hello. Who are you devils advocating for today? I am going to go for Ryan Terry. All right, I'll make a note of it. Good luck. Okay, bye. For anybody just joining us, Glenn is indeed our alchemist who has the power of the poisoner, but believes he has the power of the devil's advocate. So that's what happened there. I'm missing some interesting chat again. Brian, who do you yeah. want to choose tonight? Um, Let's choose BJ tonight. All right, I'll make a note of it. Good luck. Hello, Messi. Hey. All right, so each night you choose two players. They can't die tonight, but one is drunk until dusk. Who would you like to choose? Okay. Oh. One is drunk until dusk, right? Uh, yes, one of them will be, yeah. Somebody said I'm quiet in chat, so I'm gonna try to get a little closer to my mic here. Um, how do I sound to you? Do I sound okay? Okay. 
Messy, do I sound okay? Yeah, I... you sound great. Okay, fantastic. Uh, thank you, sweetie. I'll, mm-hmm. I'll try to be a little closer to my mic here. So, Bessie, yeah, you get to choose two players. They will both be safe. They won't be able to die tonight, but one is going to be drunk. So it means they're, if they have an ability, it won't work as, as intended. And if they get information, it may be uh, inaccurate information. But, um, yeah, so who would you like to choose tonight? Okay, so I get to choose who's drunk, though. No, I get to choose who's drunk. <sighs> okay. Ooh, okay, because I definitely wanted to kind of hinder Brad because... <laughs> Sorry, my cat's freaking out right now. Oh, no. Um, I, I don't know if you can hear it. I can hear right it. Right now, but she's... <laughs> oh, gosh. Go, go, stop. I'm on I'm on a stream. <laughs> um, so I definitely want to hinder Brad somehow, and he said that he can't die. So I don't know if that's a bluff. So I'm thinking about putting him in... <laughs> Um, and then I think the only other person I get good vibes from BJ, so I think I want to protect her. Okay, so you want to do? Um, do you want to do BJ and Brad, or did you have another choice? I think I'm gonna do BJ and Brad, and just hope, just hope the drunkenness lands on him because he is, he was so hot. He was like hot to shoot me with the like your demon thing, mm-hmm. like really quick to draw that. So. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to try that. And I'm just hoping for the best. Okay. Good luck. All right. Thanks. All right. So some interesting choices there. Uh, So Messi chose uh, Brad, our Hatter, and our BJ, our Assassin. So what I think I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and make our Hatter drunk. But can't die tonight, so I'm going to make a new difference. Uh, And that way BJ will still have uh, her ability so yeah, that way we're not really wasting our Hatter. So, uh, but the Hatter swap cannot happen tonight. So that's a pretty good choice by Messi, except for protecting the assassin. But you know, it is what it is. Uh, if it was later in the game, I might make the assassin drunk, but not this early, obviously. Uh, all right, that is our innkeeper. Moving on. I lost you from the whole game for a second. Oh my gosh. <laughs> all right. Uh, who do you want to? Who do you want to die tonight? Ooh, you know, some there's some sauce on Brad and Messi. Let's do classic Catboy. Oh, do you want to you want to kill wait, kill, kill Catboy or what are you saying? I want to kill Catboy. You might, <laughs> might, might, might as well. Okay, I'll make a note of it. Catboy it is. Good luck. Thank you. Hello, Hello. there. Um, right. I don't want to kill anybody today because I'm just too nice to do that. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I do want to make you aware of one thing. Um, this is uh, just uh, how the Hatter works uh, in case okay. uh, that is ends up happening. I'm not saying there's a Hatter on the script necessarily, but, you know, we are highlighting the Hatter, so it wouldn't be too okay. surprising if this one at the table. Eh, I'll let you decide that. Um, but the way the Hatter works is that if you uh, if the Hatter ends up dying at some point, then uh, you get to choose to be a new minion. Um, oh. So you might want to be thinking about that. Uh, also, okay. the minions get refreshed. So, for example, you know, you have a once per game ability in the assassin. So, uh, okay. if you use it, uh, then if uh, Ryan Terry decides to become the assassin later, uh, then he will get a whole new assassin ability. So, you'll get to use it twice per oh, game. So, just be aware that in this game, yeah, things could end up being used twice. So, just okay. think about the implications of that and uh, think about mm-hmm. what you might change into if you decide if the, you end up finding a hatter. Cool. Thank you for that information. Okay. Uh, and uh, you're not going to use it tonight, right? No, not tonight. That's fine. Sorry. Good I luck. Know who to kill. Oh, you're good to go. Thanks. <laughs> hello, hello. Hey, what's going on, Theo? Uh, not a lot. Um, I am here to tell you that wow. two of your living neighbors are evil. Two of my living neighbors are evil again. Well, this is going to be great because I'm pretty much sending the town on a wild goose chase. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> All right. I'll we'll wish you luck with that. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Thanks. Mm-hmm. 
All right, so just a quick summation of the night. Yes, we are in a Vortex game. Eric is our evil empath and was told it too because I cannot give him accurate information. So uh, Jesse the Raven Keeper and Daniel the Preacher are the ones who are his current living neighbors. Um, both are on the good team, but I gave him a two to keep him interesting. Plus it'd be interesting to kind of let somehow clue Eric into the might be a Vortox in play. We'll see if he picks up on that. Doesn't seem like he has yet. Uh, our Devil's Advocate was chosen by our Preacher on day one, so still has no ability. Um, and yeah, and is also poisoned, so double has no ability. Uh, and I think that is all we need to do for this evening, because our fortune teller is no more. All right. Welcome into chat, Eric. And now yeah, Meredith. And uh, yeah, goodbye. Uh, I'm glad you like the cutscenes, too. Uh, sometimes I forget to run them. I have a little button here, but uh, I'm going to try to keep them going tonight. So be on the lookout for those. Let's get back to it. <laughs> To think past All right, Barbie. welcome back to the town square, everybody. As you wake up this morning, you find caught in an endless tea party and killed by a caffeine overdose like a lemonade aficionado at a Panera. It's Catboy. Uh, <laughs> I find it very suspicious that Eric came out as Bounty Hunter, got his target killed, and was not murdered overnight. Yeah, I was very surprised. Oh, yeah. So, now I'm letting it out. I, I am the fortune teller, and I picked night one, two of the strongest people on this board, Ryan and Eric, and one could be a red herring, but I was told one of them is the demon. Who were they? You done Eric. fucked up. You done fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing. Here's the thing. My like my first thought was that uh, we have an um, ojo, just because um, they're choosing the character, and it, like I feel like a fortune teller is obviously one that a demon would want mm. to get out. Yeah, true. But mm. I have no basis for that other than like, and the only other person I told that I was a fortune teller was Daniel. So like. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Daniel's you, uh, evil reading on me and Ryan. Daniel as well, then. All right, feel free to have your private conversations. So hang on, Sorry. so I'm the bounty hunter. Since my target was Thank killed, I sure. actually got told some information at night. I was actually told mm. BJ was evil. <gasps> How dare. Oh. Yeah, that's the next bounty hunter. Breed. Mm. <laughs> I have no idea why my life. I don't. <laughs> it okay. could be an O, it could be whatever. I'm so confused. Uh, so, so Catboy, you said you're the fortune teller. Yes. Mm -hmm. That, okay, or take it with a grain of salt. I know there's a drunk on here. I know poisoners are on here, but that's the information mm -hmm. I got. Oh, God. Oh, I hate you having to take that into account. There's, right? also, there's also a Vortox around here. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, like, there are a million ways for your information to be absolute hooey. Right. Uh, so is your information. This, yeah. Go over the harpy. Well, Victor's dead. Uh, he's obviously not the demon. So. Yeah. Could okay. still be the harpy. But... Yeah. Could be this year. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have anything you would like to share? I didn't get any other information. Okay. Are you rolling? Gets in from. Hello. Hello. I get pinged, and I always worry I forgot something, but I don't think I did. What's up? No, no, no. I'm just bluffing Savant, so I need to have been seen at least talking to you at some point. Oh, yeah. Do you know what you're going to say? Yep. Do you want to share? No. Are you sure? It's for the <laughs> yeah, stream, my friend. We got we got just, people in chat wanting to hear. It's just, you and me, it's just you and me and the pigeons. Yeah. Um, you know, for the first day, I'm saying that all the, uh, the, the two things will be all powers worked correctly last night. And the second is, and the second thing is, the drunk is a role that does not gain information. Okay. Um, to, and then my next, uh, yeah, and then my my next one, the one that I'm going to say that you told me today, uh, is going to, is going to be that uh, the ki is is going to be that the kill did not uh, the kill did not uh, come from the demon last night. Hmm. And the next, and then the second thing is going to be that uh, all uh, that the uh, that the e that the evil team is all the same gender. Okay. 
Well, careful. I would say careful with the gender because we do have folks who are non-binary around the table, so that could be a hard one to differentiate. You know. Fair enough. So just be aware of that. Yeah. No. Fair. That's a good point. All right. Well, I will let you work that out and let you go have more chats. Good luck, my friend. Oh my god. There's there's a little bit of a twist. So uh, I, I don't want to get too deep into that. But when do you think you are going to... Are you saving your power for later? Yeah, I think I think I there's too many people right now. And my power mm -hmm. only works for like... I mean, it's a once per game thing, so I need, I just need to know, you know. And um, there's some sus around, you know, like with Eric and Ryan, and then there's Brad, and then BJ right out of the gate too. But uh, couldn't it be toxic? Like, because someone could have easily been like, okay, I actually believe Eric is a bounty hunter, so I'm gonna make him drunk slash toxin. So right. couldn't he be getting the wrong information about BJ? He could be. Like, I, that's what I'm thinking right now. Hello. Hey Theo, how's it going? It's I just going. thought I'd come. Yeah. Oh please, good, that's good. Yeah, well, how are you? Uh, good, good. I just thought I'd come and just throw Savant into my bluffs too, because why not? Oh fair, um, fair. I don't, I don't think, I don't think anyone noticed I didn't talk to you day one. I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> oh, probably not. I do have a message for you. Really? Um, yes. Um, you do, in fact, have the votes. Oh, perfect. I got the votes. <laughs> that is from Mr. Mystery789, who I, and I assume you know what that means. Somebody in chat yeah, yes. told me to pass that along to you. You do, in fact, have the votes. But yeah, do you know perfect. what uh, savant information I might have given you today? Oh, no, because I don't think I've ever... Uh, have you run savant before? I'm trying to think. I don't... Oh, on my stream? Um, oh, I think not, because... Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm starting... You know, This is only our fifth game on the stream, and I'm, I'm keeping yeah, it I'll... easy for myself as much as possible up until now. Yeah, I'll, get, I'll make something up when I need it, if I need it. I probably won't need it. Yeah, uh, you're welcome to run it by me if you want to, to see... Uh, yeah. yeah. The Sailor Bluff's been going pretty well so far. Mm -hmm. So see if... Um, yeah, if I can survive, or, or die early. I think it's my goal. Either die early or survive. No, let me get this back. Okay. Oh God. Had one of those pesky disconnects. We're back. Ah, oh, that's all right. I was just saying, I'm hoping to either uh, die early or survive to the end. So Sailor Buff seems like a good one for that. So, like, test me now. Oh, I died. Oh no. Or, oh look, I survived. No one tried to target me. It was a, um, it was a good effort that yeah. first day. <laughs> I think Eric got there before you did. Yeah, alas. All, all right. right. Well, I'll good luck, my it. friends. Cheers. Take care. You know, people have been known to lie in this game. I know it's mm -hmm. crazy. So, it like my like as a fortune teller, I was like told explicitly, like my role is, I define demons. So, all right. Um, someone else is requesting a chat, and I really want to talk to them. Do you mind? Okay. Yep. All right. Bye. See ya. Three for three. Ah, oh, cool. Uh, we can we can. Invite, but actually, uh, I would appreciate if you didn't. Uh, if you didn't, if you'd stop drinking with me. Perfect. Um, can you tell me your role then? In trade. Uh, yeah, I am. Uh, I'll give. I'll give you. I'll tell you what. I'll give you a three for three. Here. Okay. Oh, two for two at least. Come on. Like. <laughs> oh, come on. You. You want, come you want, on. You're gonna whittle me down to two, Brad. Yeah, whittle me down to two. I mean, you got my heart claim. I'm definitely the I, sailor. I, I'm, either, sure. I'm either the night watchman or the savant. Oh, have you? If you're night watchman, have you used it yet? No. Which is why, which is one of you should. Uh, is, okay, you should use it. I'm, I'm you should use it immediately. Because, like, I wouldn't have cared, obviously, on the uh, previous set. Savant, obviously, you'd said last night uh, you'd you drunk what? with me. I could just kind of assume that my information that day was bunkum, but I'd like to try. What? And get what, what, what information did you get? Uh, mm -hmm. You say, and today, what information have you got from your Savant? That you definitely uh, my Savant for the first day. For my first mm. day, I got okay. uh, item one. All powers worked correctly last night. All right. The second one was the drunk is in a role that does not gain information. Interesting. Okay. Yes. Hmm. Uh, and actually, uh, I'm going to bring this to the attention of the team, uh, to, to the attention of town, potentially. Mm -hmm. I'm not actually sure if I should. Maybe you can give me some advice on this because I don't really want to. Uh, it would mean that Eric is probably a, not evil if he's being Harvey. So then that would mean that the demon read would more likely be Ryan. Um, oh, that's a potential. But like, Catboy just died out right at the gate, um, as the fortune teller. And yeah, and I mean that does, yeah, and yeah. So I don't know. 
Um, I don't know, because like the be the better demon play, in my opinion, would be to kill Eric because he came out as the bounty hunter and he just keep learning evil people. Except that would mean that, except yeah, like if he's being harpied, then the de the evil team would not kill him because they would know that right. was bad information and they can use him to control other to get extra kills out. Yeah, so I I don't know. There's a lot of so there's heat on BJ. Uh, you said Messi, and then Brad the Sailor. Like I I, I sort of want to test that because that's how Glenn sort of won and last I game. I don't which... think. I, I don't know if Brad will still claim that this this time because whatever you know, ability we're keeping him alive, I don't think it's I think it's turn by turn. Yes, correct. Right? Yes, okay. yes, correct. So, so so the fact that Vic, so hey Theo, what's up? So to recap, I'm explaining that my bounty hunter read on Victory Bell is possibly uh, it's a valid thing to do. Like the recluse could have been someone that was told to me as the bounty hunter that that's the evil person in the game. Uh, which means there may be no Vortox in the game. This was what I'm explaining to BJ. Like, the, it makes sense. It's not like a oops. Mm. Like, it's kind of yeah. consistent. Yeah. I'm just trying to make sense of all the rules around, like, okay, well, we think this person is that, but also this person could be drunk, poisoned, yeah. or there could be a whole person in the game that makes everything yeah. a lie. So yeah. I'm just trying to reason my way through Welcome that. to Blood on the Clock Tower. Yeah, it's, it's great. <laughs> it's, it's so easy to figure out with all my long list of notes that don't make any sense. It looks like that diagram from the Emperor's New Groove where they're, like, crossing over, and it's just like, you know, it. yeah, it doesn't make sense, does it? Yeah, so Theo also told me you were evil, though, BJ, and that's what's interesting okay. to me while we're having this conversation. So I have to go find some things out for myself. So you're totally claiming fair. Plague Doctor. Okay, yeah. so I have to write that down. I have to figure out if I'm what's going on with my shit write now. It on your chart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The savant or the alchemist. I'm not sure I understand the alchemist's ability, other than you're basically a minion. I can mm. explain real fast. So the alchemist... Oh. Wow. Yeah. Uh, I am here. I'm lurking. Yeah. So uh, very quickly, just for the Alchemist. The Alchemist, you have a not in play minion ability. So they are on the good team um, and they will be given the ability of a minion that is not currently in play at this table. So there should be two minions at this table, um, mm -hmm. either the Poisoner, the Devil's Advocate, the Harpy or the Assassin. And so an Alchemist would be given one of the other ones that are not in play currently. Does that make sense? So they are on the yeah. good team, but they have the ability of a minion. A particular menu. They don't get to choose, okay. they get given it. Okay. All right. I'll let y'all stew on that. Good luck. Okay. So I wands and you can like touch certain parts of the teapot and it would like glow. I like you're talking about teapots, it's very thematic. <laughs> Just oh, later. <laughs> oh, oh, my some a of while. us answer the gong. I... <laughs> Uh -huh. on them who requires a double gong. Yeah. Mm -mm. Uh, All right. Welcome back to the town square, everybody. I will open nominations in about a minute. Okay. If anybody would like to take the stand. Uh, <laughs> oh no, Eric's still in a conversation. No, we I'm out. Eric's no, 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 right here. Right here. Oh, he just needs more sun. Oh, sorry, Eric's. Needs a little, like, uh, yeah. Go wash out. No, yeah, no, I don't. I don't hear anything from Eric. <laughs> yeah, right Eric's is, is 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 uh. Oh, is, I can oh. hear him. I can hear my leg. Oh, sorry. I don't know. I'll jump back into the program. Eric, start oh. singing, please. Uh, no, no one wants that. Oh God. If I started to sing. Oh, Alex was serious. I thought I thought they were just gaslighting you, and I was just. No, 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 no. She couldn't see him. I don't think. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah. No, I couldn't yeah. hear. Sorry, I just had to jump out of the program. Nobody right. wants to hear me sing. So, does anybody have any strong leads? Uh, yeah, my bounty hunter read, read was telling DJ was evil, but other than that, I don't know if. There's a Vortox or drunk or poisoning. I'm not quite sure how that interacts. I think I came out of all my I, my investigations actually more confused than when I went in. <laughs> <laughs> like to the surprise of no one, I'm sure. Well, that's that is well, a mood. There's, there's a couple of there's a couple of roles out there. I'm I'm actually going to put some data out here to town, um, just to try and just to try and suss some stuff out. Uh, I'm the savant. Uh, so I'm going to actually hard claim that, and that might end up getting me killed. Uh, but Maybe it won't. At, 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 in, at any rate, um, I think that there's enough information. I've, I've done now two Theo chats. Maybe I'll get another. Who knows? Um, the first, the first Theo chat was uh, all uh, was all powers worked correctly last night. 
Mm. The second, okay. uh, and then the second piece of information was the drunk is in a role that does not gain information. Okay. Yeah. Well, the first part of that, all powers always work okay, yeah, right? All powers worked correctly last night. No, no, I, I'm saying but that, that, that's not the vortex that only has to do with info, right? Well, that would have, that would be. I mean, I would presume that would mean. First off, if it's a vortex, everything that he's saying is wrong. So well, uh, that's, that's where I got confused. If, but right. yeah, if, if the if the first one is true, then that means that would mean there's no vortex, there's no drunk. Unless there is no, a vortex, then that information is lost. Then they get a stage to Eric for a second. Be stated. The first one can't right. even be said to me in a world with a vortex, which is interesting because well, the, well. Ryan, let no, me give it to it. Eric for a second. I just run a real quick remind people that Ryan's talking about the first night, and he's literally the raw lightning rod for every ability in the <laughs> game. <laughs> <laughs> Wait the that, drunk that my first, my first day. Day. Literally no, whatever he this is empirically night. true. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> been poisoned. Last night, I'm the leech host almost certainly. Like, yeah, who knows? Yeah. All right. Like, uh, Ryan, we'll give it back uh, to you. Uh, so anyway, um, that was the first one. Uh, this, and then uh, today's data was that uh, the, evil the evil team is all on the same half of the circle. Oh. Vertically or horizontally? Yeah, this way. Yeah, this way. You got, you got the information I got. Theo is not any more specific. Oh, it could be like this. <laughs> you could be like this. At any point, I think, and have that be true. Did Theo draw um, you a line by any chance? Yeah, just like it would have to be on the same 50%. The, and we don't know what 50%. <laughs> yeah, and we don't know what 50%. The second is that, um, and then the second one is, is that the kill last night did not come from the demon. No. Okay. Mm. okay, so that sounds wrong. <laughs> what other well, ones? Uh, if three people be die assassin. tonight, we may know that that one is true. That could be an assassin. Uh, yeah, that could be an assassin. All that being said, but nominations then, are open. Oh, but hey, an important me. thing. Okay. okay, so if the only oh, kill came from the assassin, people had to. If there's that, no. that means, and if it's a Poe, they're and saving the up their power. To rock our world. Yeah. Wait, who are we trying to kill? Well, you, BJ, Eric has nominated oh, BJ. <laughs> Eric, I'll give you the stage first, and BJ, I'll oh. give you some defense. Eric. I'm, I'm nominated <laughs> BJ based off my bounty hunter role. BJ was told to me as the evil person at night, and based off what I'm getting, uh, I mean, I have no reason to believe that otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I don't really know that I believe this, but also my, yeah. <laughs> I, I have to do it. That's fair. I, I can respect that. BJ, what's your defense? Uh, my defense is that I'm I'm not whatever he thinks I am. Um... <laughs> also, I don't think you want to kill me. I think it might actually be a bad thing if you kill me. Um, mm. For good, I, I, I don't. Oh. I don't. I don't think it's going to be a good thing for good people. Well, I mean, what character are you claiming then? Uh, I don't. I don't think I'm supposed to say my character yes. out loud. I can. I don't like. I. I don't. I, I always get confused on that. I'm. I'm an outsider. Um, oh, okay. Uh, but, <laughs> well, that's not a great sign if that's the case either way. Now All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and run this mm. vote. It takes five votes to be put on the block, and starting now. I can. I can. No. Your own husband. I know, right? A vote for the partner. <laughs> oh, he's still mad at me from that one game, like three Absolutely. games Absolutely. <laughs> All right, uh, two is not enough. Uh, okay, Messi. I'm okay. Grady nominates wow. Messi. Wow, Grady. Oh, so Messi was. So I don't think Eric is the bounty hunter. Um, Eric I'm seems to have targeted one. two outsiders the last two rounds. Um, one was the recluse. Keep in mind that's a legit bounty hunter. Read. Oh, that, that's fine. Right, but I, I do have reason. I do think that BJ may be the other outsider. And so um, the other bounty hunter, and then we got contradicting information the first round from the bounty hunter that, that from another bounty hunter, that Messi was the other evil mm -hmm. character. Yeah, I had, I had someone told me that Messi was an evil character, but I wasn't really sure where it came from. So Yeah, where did that come from? Because I was told that I was an evil character oh, by someone. So who's claiming who's claiming this? bounty hunter on me? Hey, can, who is claiming that? So, so uh, I'm, I'm the uh, I'm the real bounty hunter. My ping is all missing. Oh, Brad. Okay. But you were okay. saying you can't die the first night. 
Yeah, I've gotten now. Now I've heard of like four different things. Just chaos. All right. Let me get. Let me get. Like, okay, I don't even really need to defend myself wins. anymore because <laughs> Messi that's going. wild. This is the Spider-Man meme where everyone is just like, you know, "I'm the bounty hunter." No, I'm the bounty hunter. Sorry, somebody told me you were evil, so Messi? I have to raise my hand. Who told you I was evil? That's what I want to know. I want to know how, like, how did they find out this information? I don't actually know how they found out or why they thought that, but I trust. Why is it so correct? Because <laughs> it could have. <laughs> Whoever said it could easily have been poisoned or drunk. Oh, I didn't think All right, that. that's true. I'm going to go ahead and run this vote. It is five votes to be put on the block. Here we go. Well, I'm not. I'm I mean, not screwing. You, any you should not vote for me. Oh. So that what is your role? Wow. Yeah. Wow. I mean, like, you didn't I'm really have a reason. You didn't. I mean, we can still pilot, that. but like, I mean, you need to give us a reason. If you want to save yourselves, tell us more. Yeah, info. that was that was maybe a thing to say before the hand started moving yeah. through. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, five is enough. <laughs> Second call for nominations. Um, I want to know who's actually so playing Bounty Hunter. Like really handy. Yeah. Why? Why are we? Brad, Brad we're has said that. Oh, well, I don't know why we just agreed with yeah. Brad, just like straight up yeah. to kill me. Well, like, oh, let's. We're like, all just like, okay, he said it. it. He's good at this game. Especially entire half the circle. Order, order, too loud, too loud, too loud. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I heard what everybody yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. Take him out audio a little bit. Let, let's keep that other half. So kill Eric and Brad. Messy B's in the middle, so because it's the other half of the circle, we we'll just kill everybody on this side. You can kill me if you want to. That entire half. Messy, of the circle I'm sorry, you're next. Messy. No, but like from <laughs> that other. <laughs> Messing I, I, I wish you would have said you were the innkeeper before I raised my hand. Like, why? Why didn't you? Because I thought it was so obvious between Eric and Brad that they're up to something and connect because they're part of half of the oh, circle. Right. Brad has switched multiple times what he said. He's the only one saying that I'm evil, that I was I evil since Brad. I'm now dead. Oh, Brad I thought it was so Brad. obvious. Brad nominates. Nominate? <laughs> right. nominating himself. I've never seen that before. Ryan, help me. I don't understand. Well, let's get Brad to well, stage first. I've done that multiple times. Yeah, I'm giving him town the option. If you want to save me to be twenty, you can kill me instead, or try to. Um, yeah, I can be saved. Oh, yeah. yeah somebody somebody else be, be, he could be the innkeeper who picked himself, but he also could be the leech. Oh, so cute. let me just say real fast. Yeah, no. for, for messy. This real quick, messy. So I uh, you, you are on the, the block right now with five votes. If the, it's a tie here with five votes, then both of you come off the block. But if he gets more than five votes, then you come off the block and Brad goes on the block. Does that make sense? Yes. All right. So Brad, anything else you want to say? I'll break a tie. If it's got a tie, I'll, I'll raise my hand to lower it to break no, it. But, so I don't want to tie. but like, why do you want to die? Why do you want to die so bad? That makes. Why me do you want to save Messi? I guess. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Do you, why are you protecting Messi? I don't mind. I just build up goodwill. Look, I'm happy to die. I'm clearly a good character. Well, the innkeeper is really useful. All right, I'm gonna <laughs> run this vote. Five to tie, six to execute. I'm dead. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. I don't think I'm allowed to vote because I voted for someone else. No, you can vote as many times as you want to, BJ. You didn't even vote for yourself. All right. So I'm going to that. that is not want. enough. Okay. Um, Truly, I am invincible. <laughs> I might have actually. I might have actually. Oh, Looney. Bounty Hunter. Wait, what? He's right. a little bit goofy, but. Final call. He's claiming Bounty Hunter and he's trying to get himself killed makes no sense to me. I don't get that. It's, yeah. No, it's because, it. no, it's because no, he no. knows that we weren't going to vote him. No. But you can only be nominated once. No, 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 we can no, 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 calling that bluff. He I can get nominated for him. Wait, wait him. hold on a second. Hey, Glenn? The, the harpy could have told Brad uh, to make, to, you're no, mad to make Messi evil. Is it possible Did I hear a nomination? Brad is the bounty hunter, but uh, isn't? Is there one of those scenarios? Did I hear Wrong. a nomination Wrong. from somebody real fast? No nominations. Oh, I thought I heard one. Okay. No nominations. Then I'm going to call it in five, four, three, two, 
one and messy b is executed and uh, messy you are still in the game very much you are still mm -hmm. part of yeah. our town but you even wrote it's a ghost but only once you have yeah. yeah so yeah in case we haven't explained to you yeah you still get to participate in everything but you no longer have a power and you only get one more vote for the rest of the night or rest of the game so i'm gonna you send you nominate. i'm gonna send you into the night phase messy did messy b did die good night everybody Lock. It is wrangling the cats around this table. There's a lot of people, uh, very passionate people. But yes, so uh, Grady's bounty hunter ping, unlike Eric's fake ones, did die. So Eric or Grady will learn another good player tonight because this is a Vortox game. Um, but let's go in our proper order, shall we? So we go, according to our little numbers on the side here, we go to our preacher first. Hello. Hey, Theo. Yeah, who's tonight's uh, target for your preaching? Um, one question. It's yeah. going to be BJ. <laughs> but whoever it is, if, it, if it's actually a minion, do they lose their powers permanently or just for that round? They lose it permanently as long as you're alive. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. Yep, BJ. Okay, good luck. Thank you. Oh my gosh, we have one of the world's most accurate preachers in this game has already nailed on night three both minions very good job all right let's go tell bj the bad news hey bj hello uh i'm here with some news okay uh you have been chosen by a preacher so so the preacher on the script uh we can go look at that each night they get to choose a player and if they choose a minion uh you lose your ability Oh, okay. And so I so, just don't get to use it ever. Yeah, so you, but as long as the preacher is alive. So if y'all can manage to kill the preacher, then you get your ability back. Okay, and the preacher's a good person, right? Yeah, the preacher's one of the good players around the table. Okay. And I'm going to keep coming to you at night and uh, getting your choice, but as long as the preacher's alive, it's not going to work. Okay, so there's no point in giving you a choice tonight because definitely it won't work tonight then. Yeah, but I, I don't let you know when you get it back is the, the tricky thing. Uh, ah. So I don't let you necessarily let you know. So it's a little tricky, but um, okay. yeah. So uh, most confusing script I have ever played. It is a very confusing script. <laughs> um, do feel free to ping me if you have specific questions. Do you have any questions for me now? Uh, yeah, I have a lot of questions, but I think I can just hold them for after this is all done and then you okay. can help me figure out what on earth is going on. Because there's just, there are so many different things that can make people's information wrong. Yeah. So even knowing who I am, I'm actually struggling to pretend to be who I'm supposed to be pretending to be. I know, right? Because I literally don't understand <laughs> if, you know, if there's this in play or that in play or these seven other things and, and, and all of it's so backwards, I think most of us are confused. This is, this is the first game I haven't had any clarity at all on. I have no oh, idea. If least... I wasn't a bad person, I wouldn't know who I was. I know. Well, at least uh, you know which demons in play, which is half the battle That's for the true. good team. So uh, do let me know if you have any questions. All right, thanks. Good luck. Sorry, I hit the wrong button. That's all right. That's a lot of information for me to keep track of on here. All right, who are you devils advocating for tonight? Actually, so I'm going to try something. I'm going to protect myself. Okay, fair enough. I'll wish you luck. Okay. All right. All right. Hello. Uh, would you like to make your choice? Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? Uh, and this time, I'll choose me. Okay. I'm, I'm curious about uh, maybe if you have a second to look this up. I'm um, just trying to make sure I'm running Preacher correctly and just still continuing. Because it says you have no ability, so I wonder if I still wake you up. Um, I'm kind of thinking um, maybe I don't. Um, so, so Preacher. I'll let you. I'll let you look it up. And I'll, 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 I'll look it up. And when I and when I come to talk talk shop with you regarding um, regarding my savant bluff, I'll let you know. Yeah, that sounds good. Well, yeah, or I can talk to you at the end of the night. Um, so yeah, I'll that check works. back with you in a bit. But yeah, let me know. I'm curious if I'm running that correctly. All right. All right. Thank you. Yeah, let me answer some questions there in chat a little bit, too. Yeah, this is the first time I've run a, a very successful preacher, so I'm making sure I do that correctly. Um, but yes, uh, so we have quite a few experienced players around the table, but we have a couple of newbies, too. You know, always have a couple of newbies at the table. Uh, so people like BJ and Messy B haven't played too many games with us yet. Um, but a lot of these other players have played 
close to 20 games with us. So most of the players are pretty adept at things and the rest of them are smart game designers and they'll pick it up. So we're doing all right, but it's a good question. Hello. Howdy, how? Yeah, so uh, who would you like to choose tonight? I've been wrestling with this decision. Oh my goodness. I threw, I forgot that Eric nominated Catboy. <laughs> <laughs> it was the bounty hunter, but there's some heat on Eric right now. People think that he's being harpy mm. um, and that he might be a good character. And so if I kill him right now, let me, can I walk you through my strategy right sure, now? Sure, please. Yeah. So right now, Eric is the bounty hunter. Brad is just, uh, just trying to throw some chaos. I, I do believe that Brad is the leader. Um, Thank you for and, subscribing, by the way, Original Kid Shift. Just want to throw that out there real fast. We've got quite an audience tonight. Do so, it. Sorry, Alice, please. <laughs> no, I'm glad. Subscribe because Theo is such an amazing game master storyteller. <laughs> Thank you, Alex. Love you. So, yeah, what's up? What are you thinking? Oh, and then and then Brad might be the sailor, and I'm just keeping him alive because like last game, you know, Glenn was the sailor, and if I can keep him alive, people will put more and more sus on Brad mm -hmm. because it's such a classic demon, you know, bluff to be like I can't die. And so right now people aren't touching Brad; he's very vocal. So if I can get the heat off of me, that's great. Um, I don't want to kill any of the the quieter people like Jesse or. Daniel right now because they don't really move the game and so uh, killing them to I'll let the the town lynch them because they're too quiet. Okay. So who's <laughs> yeah. it going to be tonight then? Uh, I don't want to lynch off my people either. So it might be might be Glenn. Glenn oh. moves a lot of games and I'm going to let Eric, people think that Eric's continuing to be harpy. All right, I'll take care of it. Good luck, Alex. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Hey, did you find out my information for me? Yeah, I even sent it to you in a text chat. But oh. Yes, you should not be waking me up. Okay, uh, so yeah, I won't I, wake I you up. I basically have a blank power. That's what I figured day. when I looked at it closely. So you're not joking. So uh, I guess you can assume when I wake you up again, you have a power. Fair enough. All right, good luck. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, BJ. Uh, quick update. Uh, as far as the preacher goes, uh, I will not wake you again until you get your power back. That's how that works. Oh. So oh, okay. I All looked right. that so up just to be sure, or we looked that up. So yeah, just to let you know, that's how the preacher works. So yeah, I won't okay. even be waking you for choices until the preacher is dead. Even better. Okay, good luck. Hey, hey what's going on there? Not a lot. I'm just here to tell you that two of your living neighbors are evil. Okay, I'm guessing that I'm getting real information that Messy, Jesse, and Daniel are my evil teammates because I haven't actually revealed that I'm evil to anyone yet. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, we'll see how you do with that. <laughs> do you think you're going to reveal yourself to anybody? I don't know. I'm kind of just so in chaos. So I think Ryan's information about half the circle being evil is probably correct. He actually is just a spawn. I'm not actually thinking he's drunk or poison that night. I'm trying to do this whole thing by sowing chaos. I think Grady's the actual bounty hunter. Brad's probably the sailor. These are my guesses that I have notes. I need to figure out Glenn, Alex, and Daniel. But Grady's probably the next person I'm going to throw sus on. This is going to be interesting, because I think he's the actual bounty hunter that made me evil. <laughs> interesting. We'll oh. see how this goes. Um, um, yeah, I'm very curious to hear your, your rundown at the end of why you decided to go with Bounty Hunter instead of just Empath, which is what you are. <laughs> I, because because I know there's a Bounty Hunter in the game. That's and true. I, Even that's what I wanted to counterclaim them before they claim me as evil oh, or any of my perfect. teammates. Yeah, oh. so... I'll, I'll explain it at the end. <laughs> we'll see how it goes for you. Good luck, my friend. Yep. Thanks. All right. Thank you for the follow there. Oh, it's a Nostriel, I believe, if I saw it correctly. Yeah. So, that. Yeah, thank you again for that follow. All right. Let's see who else we have to wake up tonight. That was Eric with number nine. And 10 is dead. And 11 is our bounty hunter. So, who are we going to show to our bounty hunter? Um, it's coming down to it already. Uh, so, we have to show a good player. And we have to show on a live... Well, it doesn't have to be an alive player, but we are going to show... Um, <laughs> maybe I'll show Brad. I think that might be fun. So we do want to get our Hatter into play. Nope, it has to be... No? Yeah, uh, you learn another evil player, yeah. So yeah, it can be anybody. All right. I think I'll show Brad. Let's do it. Hello. Hello. Congratulations on getting your target killed. Maybe. You get a new bounty. Do you want to know who your bounty is? 
Dax. Nope. It is not Dax, our cat. No, it is our, our local clock tower celebrity, Brad. What? So I'll let you figure out how you're going to approach that kill, and I wish you luck. Bye. <laughs> All right, good morning, yeah. Goblin Shire. This morning you find, having sipped a little bit too much from a bottled labeled Drink Me and drowned in a mouse's teacup, the body of Glenn. Oh, God, Glenn. Oh, I like Glenn. <laughs> Glenn, what role were um, you? What were so, you, Glenn? Uh, interestingly enough, so I was the alchemist, which is a minion that's not in play. And yeah. so I was the... I, my powers were equal to devil's advocate. Ooh. Um, I could, I was protecting people. Nice. From being Ooh. executed. <laughs> who are you protecting? Interesting. Yeah, who are you protecting? Well, I, I, oh, ironically, okay. Okay. on, on right. today, I was protecting myself, but that doesn't <laughs> stop me from protecting oh, them. No, I, I did protect uh, BJ and Ryan on the first two turns. In the oh, thank you. So, wait, I don't wait is, that, is that order? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Why, why did you protect BJ and Ryan? Just BJ, I guess, well, was random because it was the first night. That exactly. Ryan... You're the bounty hunter, right? Or were you lying? This is this is real awkward. Um, what is it? Me? Yes. All right. So, so if Wartox, you're poisoned or you're evil. All right. Or you're evil. Oh, well, I mean, I don't want dying. Well, maybe I'm the leech. And like, what are you doing? You know, the thing. Um, oh, wait, so so. What are you doing? Because you said you were the innkeeper, but the innkeeper can't keep themselves alive through execution. Yeah, I'm a sailor. Or the okay. sailor. Okay. Similar thing, like Similar. drunken yeah. people, invincibility. Right. Well, maybe I'm the leech, I guess. Maybe Who knows? Leech. Yeah. That's interesting. You got me. Oh. Huh. Okay. Could be poison around though, so uh, you nominated so it was mainly obvious I was covering for you. All right. Well, your information is incorrect, so <laughs> but I'll, good, to, good to know. Good to know. All right. Cheers. All right. Oh. No, you didn't come up as evil. Well, not to me. I, I'm only getting reads on BJ. I'm just trying to see if uh, what role. What role were you claiming again? Innkeeper. Innkeeper. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So why haven't you gone after Brad hard if you know you're the bounty hunter and he's claiming it? Why didn't you like really? I'm going to be going after. Well, I don't think Brad is legitimately the. I mean, obviously he's not the bounty hunter, right? Because I'm the bounty yeah. hunter. But like, I right now my evil read is on BJ. Brad is obviously playing kind of suspicious because half the times he says he can't die, half the times he says he's a bounty hunter. I've got like four different reads on him, so I'm not really taking what he says seriously. I'm kind of getting like a minion vibe on him. But then you <laughs> let him. Okay. Okay. No, no. I've, I, I've nominated BJ. I already used my nomination. Remember, I only get one nomination at night, and I already used it mm, before yeah. Brad started doing all of his counter. Yeah. Maybe he's just being chaotic on purpose. Do you have any information? Like, who. Like, you don't have to tell me anybody because it might be an Oho game right now. That's yeah. what I'm reading. I don't really. Hello, hello. Needing to make up my night, my daily bullshit. Savant, savant, savant. Yep, savant, savant, savant. How do you feel the game is going? Hmm. How do you feel the game is going? Uh, it's going all right. I really want BJ to use her power. Hmm. Because I, I feel like there's probably a very limited window before the uh, preacher gets to her, and if she doesn't, it's probably dawn so hmm. yeah I, I think she needs to just use it <laughs> yeah um also i suspect you put a hatter in here somewhere if she gets a new power she, she, she may get something again so yeah, i i think she needs to use her ability so. all right well um but yeah anyway um yeah i'm going to put some uh i'm gonna say uh i'm gonna uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make one of them no minion abilities have been used okay as as one, which is actually I believe true thus far this game, <laughs> and and, uh, and then the, then the false is uh, and then the false is going to be um, that uh, uh, only that only one evil player remains alive. 
Ooh, spicy. All right, well, I'm going to bounce around in some conversation, so I'll wish you luck. All right, thank you. Oh, so you're also claiming you can't die. That's very interesting. That's what I'm claiming. Okay. No, I'm, I mean, no one will kill, kill me to test it. Like, guys, let me prove myself. <laughs> Why is no one killing me? Come it's on, do it! Yeah, do it! I mean, wait, okay. Well, we wouldn't kill you because what would we gain? Nobody, no evil person's going to claim that they're going to want to kill themselves. Right? I wouldn't vote for that. I, and I, I'm trying to figure out where the actual evil team is because I actually think the evil team is actually BJ, who I have an evil read on as the bounty hunter. And I think Grady is covering from BJ because when I nominated BJ, Grady goes up and actually protects BJ, which makes me think that the side of the table that's actually like half, remember Ryan, Ryan's claiming Savat. He's claiming that the actual half mm. of the table, all evil sitting on that one side of the table. I think it's them two at the moment. That's kind of where I'm going with this. So I kind of have sus on them. You, I'm trying to figure out with the whole mixing claim thing. You say you're claiming bounty hunter. That kind of covers, that kind of tracks it's, a little bit. It's fine. Maybe, don't worry maybe, about it. Don't, wor don't worry about me. Don't worry about uh, me. It's fine. Uh, what, what do you think about Jesse? What do you think about Jesse? I on, talk on, a little bit. Yeah. She's kind of suspicious to me. I think Jesse's kind of suspicious. Uh, really? I don't have anything as far as like a bounty hunter read though or anything like that right should now. We, should we call should we call Jesse today? I mean, if you want to nominate her, that's fine. I don't actually. Well, why do you want to nominate Jesse? Haven't talked to Jesse. Uh, I'm running out of places to put evils. Jesse seems like a good candidate for it. You, you haven't talked to Jesse, but you want to nominate Jesse? Yeah, I think Jesse could probably die. I want to talk to Jesse to find out more information, ideally. But if I don't get a chance, let's just kill Jesse. And let's see what happens. See, that sounds evil to me, but okay, that's fine. That, that, yeah, because that, there's not a lot of reasoning there with that. I want to follow I mean, your logic. There we go. That's why logic, because I'm just running out places where evils could be. <laughs> At least the demon. I've got a lot of minion like candidates here, like evil townsfolk, but I'm like, okay, who's actually the demon? Or, um, or the leech, or the sailor. Well, let's just do it then. And well, I don't, I don't know. I, 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 I'm not getting a demon read from him. We need to be going for demons. Who's who's demon? What? You, what? You, well, you Brad. You are. Oh, what? Oh, you're okay. Honestly, I'm, 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 I'm honest. Honestly, I honestly, 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 so I actually uh, think. Well, but, Ryan, I think that it would prove. Yeah, something. I've got my own. I've because got my if own he doesn't, if, if somebody doesn't die when they're executed, then that's a possible leech, right? Yeah, we'll see. Or Let's give, it Eric. give the floor to Eric. Uh, just real quick, guys, I'm not going to take too much time. So I'm going to explain my worldview. So I'm the bounty hunter. I've got an evil read on BJ, right? Ryan's savant claim is claiming that evil is on one side of the same side of the circle. Keep that in mind. If you're willing, to, that's one of them. One of the two things that he was told on the second day. Yeah. I think Grady coming to BJ's defense is kind of suspicious, and I'm sort of following a worldview that the evil Grady team might be somewhere. Maybe Brad Grady BJ is kind of what I'm thinking, mm -hmm. but I'm not well, so sure. I'm pretty sure oh. Grady's walking around counter claiming me as bounty hunter, which is also super suspicious. But I haven't talked oh, to Grady yet. Let me believe that I. Look at the guy. The stuff. <laughs> yeah, but Eric, you claim Victory Bell was evil. That's the wrong side. But, <laughs> but, but, yeah, if Victory Bell was evil, then all the evil people. Victory Bell was evil. Oh, 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 now oh, you believe me. Now it is. Supposedly, supposedly. Let me give this to Ryan. Let me pass it to Ryan. You know that guy. I'm trying to roll. I'm trying to roll my savant chair into the town square here and give you all and give you all some data. He does. All right. All right. All right. So the first one is interesting. It's that no minion abilities have been used this game. Oh, wow. So maybe they got canceled. Maybe. Or, uh, hmm. The other is that only evil, uh, or sorry, not only evil, that, that uh, only one evil remains alive. <gasps> oh, what are we good, guys? So it can't. Well, if your information is correct, it. Hmm. It has to. Yeah, be this is. These are some weird ones. <laughs> well, so right? I was like, that's why I was like, let's get these out. To Nominations are open. Wait, right, so Brad. Brad I, I actually wait, nominate wait, wait. Daniel. I heard Brad first. I think. Mm. Brad, what'd you say? Yes. Oh, okay. Brad nominates Jesse. All right, Brad nominates no. Jesse. Brad, go ahead. Jesse. No. Hi, Jesse. We haven't actually spoken yet this game, so how's it going? Um, I'm, running out places, I'm running out places for the demon, and so currently we haven't spoken, so I'm just let's kill Jesse. Jesse might be the demon. No. <laughs> wow, this really sounds really like really real deflection really. here. All right, Jesse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what's right. the logic behind it? Oh, Jesse might be frozen. Jesse, you there? Oh, I'm here. Okay. It all <laughs> went weird for a second. That happens. Everybody was frozen. You're all good. Go ahead, Jesse. I, I mean, I guess maybe. I, uh, Jesse. Um. So, 
I'm the Raven Keeper, so you should not kill me now. Let the demon kill me, because then I will learn things. Okay. Okay. I don't also, Brad is Jesse. hella sus. Jesse, Jesse. Yeah, I mean, Brad is kind of sus. That was super quick yeah. on Brad's part. I, yeah. I, yeah. I don't suspicious. believe it. I, I think... All right. And not for, not for a strong reason, either. I'm going to no. go ahead and run this vote. It is four votes to be put on the block. I don't think so. Jesse, now you will never die. Don't buy that. Don't buy that. Yeah. I'm new. <laughs> yeah, come on. Which which track for you? Four. Is it four? Is it four? Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> All right. Um, I don't know. It seems very. Su Brad's very suspicious. One like, is not he enough. He says he can't die. You guys could test that. Yeah. Right. I, I, I think using. I uh, let me let me say that. I think actually Brad is. Brad's giving me a pretty strong minion vibe. If I'm honest, yeah. of like kind of throwing throwing That's stuff fair. out, maybe trying to sink an execution, mm -hmm. but like. I, I really don't think there's much. If, if he's, I, I don't think that Brad's the demon, and I think that we should be trying to kill the demon. And, I, yeah, and, but you said there's only one evil person yeah, left. Yeah, I, I, what a I, in my own set, there is so much misinformation out there. We can take mine, yeah. but please do not take my set, sets as gospel. It's also possible the true thing is that a minion power hasn't worked well this game. Which may mean that there's not only one evil left alive. There may be multiple. I, I don't know. Let me give it to you. Wait a minute. You know, I'll, 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 with all this drink, Brian, I, it uh, sounds like you were drunk because both of your things, like, we're pretty sure the assassin played in that second kill. It, right? Yes. Yeah, so, right? But if that was the case, then the yeah. like go off drunk. follow. So that one probably wasn't right. Let me give this. I, I have a nomination. I would like to nominate Daniel. Oh, okay. Well, Eric will come back to you in a minute. Daniel. <laughs> That's. All right. So the the reason the reason is a Daniel's been Daniel's been doing a very a very big kind of minion quiet hide this entire game. He said yeah. basically. He hasn't said much. That's true. Uh, se se second, uh, he's basically said borderline nothing. I went in and, and asked kind of what his his deal was. Um, was basically unwilling to give me any information at all. This set into the game. Uh, he gave me a three for three of um, a the empath, the exorcist, and something else. I actually misremember the third one um uh, and so ultimately like going in and like w if they if they if he's the empath we should have been getting hopefully some because multiple of his neighbors have died i just feel yeah. like it's just kind of very much a lay low play and i think it's a, a perfectly reasonable either a minion or a demon lying low is, is what i'm getting off it all right daniel am i able to say something before he talk uh, let me give daniel the yeah. defense first and then we'll get okay. folks from everybody uh everybody else daniel let's let you go first all right. Um, well, first, playing low seemed kind of intelligent given all of the opportunities for misinformation. Uh, <laughs> and really, there there are several people that I just don't trust. But <laughs> really, <laughs> yeah, imagine why, right? It was one time. One time. <laughs> <laughs> that one text. I would never forgive you. Anyway, as, as as far as my defense, um, I, I think that Ryan Terry is actually trying to deflect. That is my theory. Um, I think if if, right, if you go through the the spot stuff it, that that he's listed off, it doesn't really match up. At least based on other conversations I've had, there are there is at least one that neither one could be true which one so um it's also see, possible i was poisoned that night or that, drunk. that is true if, if we have a poisoner or a drunk that is absolutely or we could or have a, a or the board talk board. and just everything's or, uh, wrong yeah or it could and, be and a that's, board that's, that's like yeah. my, my information right. like you know like i'm not i'm not going to sit here and claim my information is gospel i never have but i'm but, saying i that's it's just the information i got and i'm sharing it with town and, and that that's Kind of my point, right? The, what are a you? lot of me. If you're, if you're good, what are you? If I declare what I am, then oh, I'm, I'm painting a target on my back. Yeah. Which well, really, I think it actually right 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 So basically, <laughs> now's the time to do it. <laughs> Either way, I'm, I'm preacher, and oh. I believe that I have nullified the the bad guys and now that i've declared they're probably going to kill me and get, try to get their abilities back but who did you, you say you were it cut out i i targeted 
Uh, no, he's the preacher. Oh, he's the I, preacher. I targeted a preacher. Ryan Terry the first time, then Glenn, then uh, BJ, based on uh, Eric's information. Mm -hmm. Sure. <laughs> well, there was definitely ad additional personal reasons in there, but that's why I, I went off. <laughs> All right, Jesse, did you want to say something? Oh, I was just going to say that Daniel did tell me he was the preacher pretty early on. And I Same. was like, you may, you maybe shouldn't tell a lot of people that because that if you tell fair. the evil team that, they'll kill you. So maybe yeah, that's yeah. why he wasn't being very forthcoming with information. Yeah, <laughs> I was going to corroborate that Daniel did tell me his role as well. Okay, so he told at least, he told at least three people, so... He told me as well. Before someone went to stop telling people. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's go. Four votes to be put on the block here for Daniel. I'm going to vote for you just because you voted for me earlier. <laughs> well, that's fair. That's going to work that's anyway. So I'll, put, I'll put my hand down. In, in, the, in the event that you are actually the preacher, there's no sense wasting a town kill and something demon's probably going to yeah. be for us. All right, right. now the demon's going to kill me tonight. Yeah. One's not enough. Nobody's on the block. I, I, I'm, I nominate, hang on, I nominate Grady because he's going around claiming he's the bounty hunter and I'm the actual bounty hunter. I, just, I don't think I think he might be the hunter. demon. <laughs> I, think the, I, think the evil team, I think the evil <laughs> team is actually Grady and BJ. I think the evil team is actually Grady and BJ because when I nominated BJ for my bounty hunter read, Grady was quick to come to her defense. I think that the side of the table, because again, going back to Ryan Savant read, I think this, the true. evil team is sitting on that half of the table. That's kind that of maybe, but I, I still think Eric is evil. I just, right. I, I don't know why, yeah. and I don't have a good reason except for sometimes the things he says doesn't make sense. <laughs> and it's either like, Eric or Brad. It's like Eric or Brad. We need to kill right, someone give this, by gum because give it to Grady. We still don't have enough for disprove of Vortox. Grady. Okay, so I, I actually would not mind if i was killed this round um for in case the vortex is in play still um but i will i guess lay out kind of what i know um so yeah i've been going around telling everyone that eric's being harpy because he cut out for me yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. he said he's having some Freddy. internet issues downstairs he'll, he'll pop back in a second Mm. Uh -oh. I'm this trying to make sure play. Oh, that's I don't know, maybe he yeah, is leave us like that. <laughs> Just leave us like that. Hello, oh. am I back? Yeah, you're back, Grady. Yeah, Go yeah, ahead. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. So, uh, so I, yeah. So I don't mind being executed this round, but um, so the information that I have is that I am the bounty hunter. Uh, Brad was covering for me early on, so that I wouldn't get targeted by the demon. Oh. Um, nice. mm. And uh, I really don't know what's going on with you, Eric. Because at first I thought you were being harpy. But I it, don't know. I thought he was drunk for a while. I don't. But, but, I, but, but I think like, the evil team is you two. That's what I'm being told. Well, so, <laughs> but like, um, okay. So the reason I defended BJ is because BJ kind of she was trying not to tell me her role because she did believe <laughs> that she shouldn't be telling anyone her role. But then I guess like I kind of forced it out of her anyway. Um, and I don't think it's necessarily a huge deal if we reveal it now. Um, yeah. So BJ, BJ okay. told me that she was the plague doctor, which is okay. why we didn't want her to die. Okay. Because we didn't want Theo to get an ability. Wow. Um, and right. uh, and also it ver from it would su suggest that she was the other outsider, which would mean that there at least is no drunk. Um, and oh, I didn't realize that. But we could have oh, that would be helpful. Outsiders uh, but, but that's the reason I was mm -hmm. kind of defending her was because I, I had reason to believe that her dying would be detrimental to the good team. Um, beyond that, uh, my my first bounty was indeed messy, and uh, my second bounty is currently Brad. Um, Wait a minute, Brad, who was sticking up for you? Brad, who was sticking up for you? I don't understand. So I don't know if, you, I was, if someone what, else was already that, going bounty hunter. Uh, okay, so I was just adding everybody, I guess. So BJ's the plague <laughs> doctor. I am the uh, the bounty hunter. Uh, my first target was Messi. My second target is currently Brad. Um, even though Brad was helping me out and covering for me, so Brad obviously says that I'm currently poisoned. I don't know. That, that um, makes sense, kind of. 
maybe. And uh, I really don't know what's going on with Eric, though, because there's no way Eric is drunk, because, like, we can't... He can't be drunk people. every turn. Because Grady's the demon, that's why, or he's a minion. <laughs> yeah, I have I a mean, question. I don't think I'm going to get any more information. So I am fine, like, either, the, like, the demon might come, well... Yeah, the demon might come after me, or like, you know, what, or like. You could be know. the if you're poisoned and getting false information, you could be the leech host. That's, That's also, also possibly true. Oh. Yeah. Messi had a question. Yeah, it might, it might be a good idea. To yeah, play. I have like a games question. So, can he, can the bounty hunter or anyone be poisoned or drunk on the first turn without yes. being yes. the drunk? Yes. 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 And yes. how how would they be able? Or the how would the that leech. Happen? The leech will poison the someone leech. before the game or begins. Or the poisoner. The poisoner. The poisoner mm. or uh, well, the, the innkeeper oh, the potentially. Leech. Or not the innkeeper, the sailor potentially. Yeah, yeah. Well, a couple but, of ways. but on the first, but the the first the night, the only one that does it from the very beginning. Somebody. Yeah, so I couldn't do that on the first night. <laughs> anyway. Um, All right. Taylor can. That so wait, so if we that believe guy. that the monster is the leech for... Never mind. No, the leech. Wouldn't wouldn't it behoove us to kill someone that we think is the leech's prey, so we can get down to the leech? The leech well, will die sooner. You can't the kill the leech. Yeah, as soon as you kill, you kill their host. So if if we yeah, have the host. That's what I'm saying. So, oh, so then if, if he's we kill the host, by... people die. Maybe. So very quickly, I'll, I'll just kill just on that basis. If we have any sus that his information is just wildly off base, killing killing Grady. Is there a reasonable way to maybe get a leech host? That's what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, Grady could That's be the host. Saying. Yeah. So, that, yes. Yeah. Makes yes. sense. Oh, I think we might be going so, through on Twitter on Twitch again. Yeah. Just a very okay. quickly for Messi, the leech uh, implants a leech into an, mm -hmm. an unsuspecting victim. If you try to kill the leech, they won't die. But if you kill the the mm -hmm. leech's host, then the host and the leech will die, and the the demon will die. So let us go ahead and stick a great vote for Grady real fast, though. I need to go ahead and run the vote. It is four votes to be put on the block. This is on Grady. Messi, Messi. I wouldn't, Messi, I wouldn't use your dead. Man. Yeah, Messi, you only get one more vote for the rest of the game, so just be sure you use it wisely. You don't need to put your hand down. down. We will have I'm enough votes. Oh, we have, have, have enough votes. If Grady yeah, does. Yeah. Grady, 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 yeah, uh, Messi, you I'm only get one the entire rest of Yeah, the I didn't see that he was voting for himself. I guess. And even if he wasn't, that wouldn't have probably been a good time him. to use it. Let me get Daniel on the stage. Yep. Because I expect to die tonight, um, I, I wanted to make a nomination. <laughs> I won't be able to. Yeah. Uh, moving forward. Um, I, I want to nominate uh, Alex. Okay. And my reason is because of everything going around the last couple times she's the only one who hasn't either nominated or been nominated or made a nomination um and i'm pretty sure about a lot of other people because people a lot of people have declared usually Fair. after death what what they are um and like i said this is also going to be my last chance to nominate so <laughs> i wanted to nominate somebody that's, that's all right alex right? yeah you're muted though yeah, you're muted, Alex. Alex. <laughs> All right, I'm muted. Hi, everyone. So um, I haven't been nominated because people have been nominated. I haven't, like, disagreed with people. Like, I've been having a lot of conversations in private. Um, and uh, I just wanted to use my power at a very specific time. Um, I was talking to Grady about it, that if there is a harpy in the game, I'm wanting them to be drunk. And so that's, that's all I'm, to, I'm going to say is that I... I'm just, I guess I'm just going to come out and say it, I guess, because I'm on the block, is that I'm the courtier, courtier, mm. um, and I just was trying to save my power so that they would be drunk for the next, you know, three days, three nights, and um, I wanted to see for sure if there's a harpy in the game, because, you know, Grady is uh, claiming bounty hunter and Eric is claiming bounty hunter, so I just wanted to see what this double, like, bounty hunter claim was, and then Brad, I, I'm just saying, I'm just saying it for myself that uh, I would like to continue so that I can um, use my power at some point. I think okay. this, this, this seems like a very I suspect yeah, probably nomination. Use your power I, I, I think that, well, again, I'm going to die at the end of the, the night anyway. Yeah, but that's so. not the reason to nominate. Are we sure he's a creature? All right, but, let me go ahead and run this vote. It is four to tie, five to execute. 
Uh, Randy, if you get an opportunity awesome. during the night phase, you might want to just make sure nothing in our house is downloading something. I don't, nothing on this computer is. <laughs> um, but yeah, we might be having some bandwidth issues. Yeah, Grady, what yeah, are you why are you voting for me? <laughs> All right, that is not enough. Two is not enough. Brad. <laughs> Any I just other don't know. <laughs> final call for nominations? Oh my, for God's sakes, let Grady die. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That said, I'm calling it in five, four. Someone nominate Eric? Someone? Anyone? Three. No, you got the demon and Grady. Two. I'm hoping. One. And Grady is executed and dies. Congratulations. And everybody goes to sleep. Good night. Ah, see. I knew it wasn't Grady. He's the host. Uh, anyway, this is looking pretty bad for good right now. Uh, very bad indeed. So let's see what we can do. All the evil players are still alive. So uh, I don't know if we can do anything about it ourselves, but we'll see what uh, our players decide to do. So let's go take a look. Uh, hey. Hey. Who would you like to choose tonight? Um, I'm going to choose... Uh, Eric. <laughs> okay, I'll take care of it. Good luck. All right, thank you. Hello. Hi, Daniel must die. <laughs> All right, I thought that might be what you would say. All right, good luck. <laughs> Thanks, bye. <laughs> yes. Good call. Uh, you have your ability back. So, would you like to use uh, it? I want to stab Brad. <laughs> okay. No, no, I don't. I don't, actually. I'm going to kill Daniel. Uh, well. No, he's dead. He has to be if he's the preacher, right? If you think Daniel's the preacher, then you got your ability back. Yeah, I've got my ability back, so he's already been killed. Oh, gosh, I don't know, because I was just stuck on, I think it's Daniel, so I should kill him. Oh, uh... Hmm. Uh... <laughs> uh, oh, give me just one second. Yeah. That's really hard. Yeah, take a look um, at your board. See what you want to yeah. do. Oh, that's what I'm... Looking at. I'll make sure I'm doing my night order correctly. Uh, I guess Brad. I'll just stop this. I, right. Or I, I mean, I could wait. I don't know. Let's kill Brad. He's All suspicious. Right. Sounds good. I'll take care of it. <laughs> good luck. All right. All right. Good turn for our evil team tonight. They got their preacher and their hatter in one night. All right, so let's see if we can uh, sort this out. Did you need me again? Yes, uh, hold tight for a second if you would. Okay. Hi. 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 I'll let y'all not talk for a second, please. I'm bringing you here for a reason. Oh, wait, what, what? So, oh. I screwed something up. Sure, no, no, everybody's good. Uh, no, no conversation, please, though. Our, our hatter has been killed. And so you all get to make some decisions. So uh, I want uh, no talking right now, but we need to have to make a choice. We're going to start, actually, with our demon, uh, Alex. So, Alex, uh, do you want to continue being the Vortox, or do you want to be a different demon? Oh, God. Oh, that's hard. That's oh, and so apparently hard. they can hear us now. What? You two is playing the same uh, thing over and over again for some reason. Uh, I don't know what is going... The worst night for our stream to mess up. Uh, oh, yeah. But anyway, yeah. yes. Hopefully, I don't know what's going on with there, but uh, we're working. Is it a decision I can only make right now? Can I ask Ryan? No, you no. can't. No, no you're conversation. Not, you're not allowed to discuss this, Alex, even a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you have, to make, you have to make a call. Do you want to stay as a Vortox, or do you want to become a different demon? <sighs> rules, rules. Question. DM. Yes. Yeah. If uh, if I am still preachered, do I when I get a new minion ability, does that <laughs> overwrite the preacher, and do I gain a power now? So let's look at the preacher real fast. I don't preacher. see it. Each night to the player. Preacher. Learns this. All chosen minions have no ability. So yeah, uh, until uh, I, th I would say until the, all, yeah, because you would be a minion class, right? Uh, so that you're a chosen minion, so you'd have no ability. So 
Uh, I believe that is correct. Um, so until the minion, until the creature's dead, you would have no ability, even if you chose a new one. But you can still choose a new one. And it'll just exist in the background. We'll say that. Sorry, that- quick question, Theo. Uh, if I choose Poe, mm-hmm. um, and it's one person and then three people, like, wouldn't the game uh, end on the second night? Uh, if you choose Poe, you have to then take a night off. You have to choose zero. Oh. Um, uh, starting tomorrow, and then you could charge. So that would be an option. No, I'm gonna continue to be Vortox. Okay, continue to be Vortox. All right, Ryan, I'm gonna go to you. You can choose any of the abilities uh, on the board, including Assassin. And you get to choose the Assassin. Okay, Ryan Terry chooses Assassin. BJ, you can choose anything but Assassin. If I choose, I have a question. Um, mm-hmm. Hopefully, I can ask this. And if I shouldn't have asked it, just tell me to be quiet. Um, but the the devil's advocate. If I were to choose that, can I choose to protect? Are demons living? Can I can I choose to? Re- you can choose the demon. Well, so can, uh, I- do be aware that the Hatter acts after all of the um, minions in the night order. So you wouldn't be able to do anything tonight. But going forward, you can make choices. Okay. Well, okay. So if we get to the point of being able to make a choice, mm-hmm. though, then I could choose to protect, say, um, Ryan and Alex. Could yep. I do that? Yep. You can choose anybody you like okay. to protect. I think I'll choose the Devil's Advocate because it seems to make the most sense. All right. Good enough. All right. So good luck to everybody. Uh, so far, so good. I'll talk to you all soon. Good luck. Thanks. Thank you. Wait. Hello. Hey, Theo, how's it going? It's going fantastic. How are you doing? <laughs> uh, leading the town on wild goose chases. So far, I got them to lynch the recluse and the bounty hunters. So we'll see how this goes. Hopefully, I can keep the kills off Daniel and Jesse, who I still haven't told I'm evil yet. So let's see how this goes. So who do you who do you think is on the evil team? I th- So right now, so without actually revealing myself that I'm evil to anybody, I think Jesse, Daniel, and Messi are the evil people. They're all on the same side of the circle. I'm the other evil one. They don't know. I think Daniel's the demon, probably. That's what I'm guessing. Brad is maybe the sailor because he keeps bragging that he can't die. Mm. Uh, obviously, BJ is the plague doctor. Glenn is the alchemist. Grady's the author bounty hunter. I guess I'm going to play sus up on Brad or BJ. Use my bounty hunter claim on BJ. The only thing I have to worry about is if one of my demons is actually a leech because I don't know that yet. (laughs) (laughs) In which case, I might direct it on the wrong target, but I'm kind of taking that risk because I like being an agent of chaos. So yeah, you don't see how it goes. The the fun thing that folks might know about you is that you have played in like 15 of our games and you've been evil once. And so now you get to be evil and not know who your evil team is. I know, I get to be evil and not do it, but I want to attract enough attention that they want to lynch me and not the actual demon, so this is going to be fun. <laughs> well, uh, I'm also here to tell you, because you are still the empath, and right. uh, I'm here to tell you that your empath reading is a two. So probably Jesse and Daniel assume there's no misinformation. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. All Thanks. right, good luck. <laughs> Good morning, Goblinshire. This morning, you find caught between Tweedledee and Tweedledum in an impromptu sumo match and flattened into two dimensions. It's Daniel. Wait, who's wow. Tweedledee? And, <laughs> and nibbled to death by a vorpal bunny on its way to work in a hurry. Oh. It's Brad. <laughs> well, funny. Okay, so here's the ho. One more? No, it was Oho, Oho that missed, I think. But, um... Oh, mm-hmm. Miss Hesson. Um, so, bad news team. I'm um, actually the header. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! Everything uh, we know is wrong! What? Up is down, <laughs> black is white, and short is wrong! Oh, no! Oh, we're on. So, evil team, evil team, oh, we're shopping We didn't around. need, because we needed more confusion, right? Oh, now the evil team is entirely new rules. Oh no! Yeah. Yeah. Now we have three outsider claims. Oh, oh but no, that's off the board. Table. Well, that yeah. could be easily. No, no, uh, that's, uh, not, that's not necessarily wrong. There's the fabled that, role of that's of like the that. sentinel. So I'm not surprised about that. Um, and Daniel claimed preacher. So I was, I, I point I'm out that if, if, if there's three evil, that means there's die. only two town left. Uh, we don't know that there's three evil. There, 
There could be five. Oh, well, there's a, there actually could I'm be a bounty four, hunter. Actually, I'm a bounty hunter. There's four evil. I'm a bounty well, hunter. Wait, there's if somebody there's else four evil. evil? There, if there's yeah. four evil, then there's if only there, If there's four now. evil, then only one. Well, that, well that, we don't know who's alive, though. Like, yeah. Well, it, yeah. Eric's a double claim. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Killing Eric will guarantee an evil deed. I need to go get my Savant data. The good news about them killing an exorcist is they didn't get to kill me, so I'm gonna go kill a Savant. Okay, um, Messi? Messi? All right. Oh, All right. make sure my desktop audio is perfect. Yeah, we're lies, all good. Lies. We're <laughs> gonna do lots of lies. All right, I'm not gonna take too long because I know we wanna get back to town. Yeah. Uh, all right, so time, enough time for you to give me data. Data, data, data. You think data, it's going data. pretty good so far? Yeah. yeah, so far so good. We'll have to see. All right, bye. Good luck. Yep. Okay. <laughs> and is there an echo? Oh no, it was it's good now. Oh. I, I was just checking my audio, sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um Brad was the hat and so we have a brand new like evil team. Yeah. Oh fuck. It could be a Poe. Like we don't even know what they were originally, so like Oh Jesse, this is terrible. Ooh. Um and you are for sure the Raven's Keeper. Catboy wants to join, I think. Is okay. that how that works, or is that a separate request? No, no, no. I think Catboy can join. I don't know how. Well, it went away. Never mind. <laughs> uh, yeah, so... Well, we don't have any way of calling, calling them back. Yeah, I've been... they will come back. I have confidence well, I'm, they're I'm, not going to stay in well, I'm, I'm, I'm spamming them. No. Ryan wants to share some... Um, Information. I did not hear anything that you guys were talking about. Brian wants to share like his um, Savant data, true or false. Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay. Wait, hold on, what's happening? <laughs> hello? Yeah, hello, oh. I'm here to join the chat. Okay. Hello? Are we on the chat? Yeah. Yes, we got there, yes. <laughs> I love this. Okay, I'm just going. Perfect. <laughs> Brian, did you say you wanted to share your Savant? Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to All share right, a Savant well. info and y'all wanted to do a private chat. I was like, I'm sorry. What yeah, what is it? I got to more, more than one, even after you said that. So okay, All right. order, so, order, 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 and speak. Okay, so my Savant, my Savant info is this. Uh, item, item one. Uh, at least two abilities are not working properly. Okay. Which okay. in YouTube? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Burn. Too soon. Too soon. I love that. Joke of the day. Uh, next. Uh, the, ne uh, the next is that uh, the outsider count has been modified. Ooh. Uh oh. Wait, hang on. So let me so see the order. Does that mean if there's more or less outsiders? That would mean that there would be more or less outsiders. Well, than here's the thing. The thing about this is like has been modified at least one time per game. At least two you, abilities are not working currently. Like multiple. I think he's just. I think that would be hinting at the Sentinel. Yeah, I think it's confirming ask, BJ's existence. Yeah. Well, yeah, because uh, like, because some of the phrasing is just like at least two abilities aren't working properly. Like what today? Like it just says it. It just says it was modified. It didn't say it went up or down, right? Yeah, yeah, it was modified. It could have been gone. Could have gone down theoretically. We could have less outsiders. We got three. We got three oh, outsider we claims. Have, yeah, we have three. So. We do have three outsider claims. The recluse, the hatter, um, and the plague doctor. Got it. I'm gonna yeah. open nominations I'm, in a minute. Wait, what, uh, oh wait. Okay. Yeah. Everybody. The recluse is evil. So I'm not worried about that. Mm hmm Are we still doing? Private? Yeah, you have one. You have about a minute for private chats if you want to go chat really okay. quickly. <sighs> Sure. You guys got to narrow this down. You only got another play or two. It's coming down to the end of it, folks. Expecting BJ and Alex for a while, like them being one I have, being I have and one strong, being I, I actually, to be clear, I actually have a pretty strong read on Alex that she's good. She's good. Or they're okay. good. My apologies. They're good. But they're good. I, I, oh no. Hello. Hi. You wanted to chat? I, I don't actually. Wow. <laughs> I, I don't. Sorry, the I love you. No worries. Um, <laughs> Good luck. Uh, bye. But uh, the remaining people, so I just wanted to get touch base. The off outsider. That's what I'm trying to understand. What's up, Thea? We're just talking. We both want to know what's up with each other because we're both obviously counterclaiming each other. Uh, well, and so I voted for myself. So there. Oh, wait. <laughs> Yeah, you did. That's a good job. That doesn't mean too much, but good job. Sure, Could be your All minion. Right. 
I still think you're evil, but I'm willing to talk to you. <laughs> I mean, like, but like, okay. I don't even, okay. But so you said, so, well, so, okay. So the, the, the modified one, so that's the true statement. So the other one that Ryan gave us, we can basically ignore at this point. Uh, he said at least, at least uh, two abilities, was it? They're not working probably? I actually didn't write that number. Two abilities aren't currently working. I would do. I don't know. Like, okay, mm, so right, I... Right. Sure. Okay, Brad. Okay, what? Well, right. I mean... All right. So, what information do you wanna? Do you have any to give me? Well, what uh, what what, what role are you? I'm the courtier, as I said. Did you, did you have you used it? Did you use it? Um, no, I have not yet. You have, I you want to used confirm it? that there's a harpy. There's not a harpy. It might be now, but there definitely wasn't a harpy throughout the game. It's been too quiet for a harpy. I think it's assassin you know, poisoner. You... At least it was. Um. All right. You haven't used it. Yet. Okay. I mean, I can I can use it right now. In no. the night. I think it's a bit uh, late now. I'm uh, sure you can uh, try. Um, pick a leech or something, see what happens. That could be yeah, hilarious. Yeah, I'll choose leech. Yeah, I'll yeah, choose perfect. leech. All right. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. There we go. Excellent. We'll see how we go. Cheers. The third day. Yeah. He, I mean, he's so, really, really like, suspicious. Yep. Yeah. Oh, my but, God. But that's, that's all I can think of. <laughs> Only one death until right then. Yeah. So we're at five. Um, if we kill someone, that's four. How, how many more kills we have left? Depends a lot about... There's honestly a lot that's up in the air here. <laughs> I, I also... I'll, I'll say something that... We know that sometimes Ryan's information has been wrong. Right. If it's possible that all of his information has been wrong, which would mean he was poisoned from the start by the leech. Or the drunk. <laughs> Well, no, I would, or, or, we more talks. <laughs> well, I would hate to deal as a game master deal with a poison savant because then it's just like every truth is a lie and every lie is true. So like, what? what? <laughs> no, y'all, I can't with that. No. <laughs> what? You said, wait, wait, no, BJ, you nominated Eric. Why? B BJ nominated me. So let's get that going. I, oh. I have not been able to nominate anybody the whole game. Right. And if Brady was the bounty hunter and Brad is dead and not the bounty i don't i just think it's eric don't pick on somebody so Go bj ahead. are you nominating i mean yes i nominate eric because right. i don't think they're the bounty hunter i i i, I could be er wrong eric though, has been eric has played this game a little weird i'm not gonna lie yeah but yeah He's very quick to accuse all right bj do you have anything else you want to say the bounty hunter I don't, I don't, I really don't. I just, I'm just convinced that he's not a bounty hunter. And other than that, I don't actually, I'm just, I know he's not a bounty hunter and that's all I've got. We, we, <laughs> we see, we see, Eric, we see Eric play evil so seldom. It's a little hard to get a read on it what does, he yeah, does. It, does, it happens, doesn't feel but... right that he would be evil, but at the same time, like, I just don't think he's a bounty hunter and I don't, I'm well, confused. The, at this point, the odds are good that he is considering there's only five right. people left. All it's right. also possible that he's it, it, he's also for much the same reason as noted he might be a decent kill for elite for leech reasons can, can yeah. i make yeah. a defense yeah. before yeah. people start voting yeah of course, please <laughs> by so all means. i want to i want to reiterate that my okay. evil read was bj i still stand by the fact that this is like a counterclaim against uh -huh. me because she is the evil one i really think that her the evil team is bj and grady who is shown to be connected to bj because when i originally nominated bj grady was quick to deflect that and i think that the fact that Grady's counterclaiming me as bounty hunter is pretty fucking suspicious. That's why I nominated him next night. So I think the evil team is actually DJ and Grady. I don't know where the third one is yet because I don't have like a good read. I think there's been a suspicion on a lot of people. I think like, everybody's I think. suspicious. We are all suspicious at this point. Yeah, so, I think so everybody's calling grandmother oh, evil. Yeah. One second, to folks, to folks, folks. Catboy is really wanting to say something. So <laughs> I, so to put BJ's like. I asked her a long time ago to nominate Eric, and she just hasn't had the time. I've been um, to for like rounds. So like, <laughs> as the fortune teller, thinking that I'm not drunk, cause, and I'm like, Eric's gonna come Eric's stop me. I'm gonna myself. It's Wait, let's, let's let let's let Catboy speak. So like the pe two people that I was given to be the demon as the fortune teller were Ryan, Terry, and Eric. Now I like know that we needed to play the game to see how they both would have played but honestly like eric has been a lot less transparent and like we haven't seen the logic of some of his choices so that's why i um wanted to nominate yeah. him but how i've never been more, able to because i was how much always more, what do I have to how much more transparent can you be when you declare 
the first was... statement of the game. Yeah, well, I was I was saying I was the bounty hunter. I told you my evil reads. I told you why well, but, Grady and BJ were on a team. But I also but, but, but I also I also got I also got people that uh, told me that they were bounty hunters as well, and it's just. Mm -hmm. Well, so, okay. Look, well, let's, he's, he's, he's going to kill himself to let, let the vote me, happen. Let me. Let me I, give thought we, I thought we knew that Grady was the bounty hunter because the because because Brad. Um, yeah. Well, no. let's so give let's give Eric the last word here, real fast. Confirmation that Eric, no. Eric, last word before okay. we run this vote. Let's keep it's it fine. Three, vote but. me, vote me. I'll vote for myself. Kill me tonight. But when I die tonight, you go after BJ. All right. That's fine. Okay. Sounds good. Please. I will vote for myself. I'm putting my hand up. Dead votes. We should get at least I one more. No, nah, I'd rather go with Jisoo Alex. Personally. Alex. Okay. Four is enough. There Eric is on the block. That's going to be tough to beat with this many people. <laughs> I think it's probably just it. I'm going to call it. I'll be ready to not the demon. Go after BJ. That's fine. Yeah, it it is. Okay. Next I'm, I'm going to call it in five seconds. Five, four, three, two, on one, and Eric mm -hmm. is uh, executed and dies. Okay. And everybody goes to sleep. Oh. Okay. <laughs>what a game oh i'm sweating over here uh hopefully we're broadcasting all right now um eric throwing himself under the bus um i'll point out to folks this is jesse's second game with us uh so jesse's still a little bit inexperienced in this and it's a it's a tough script so that might be why jesse is not taking a more driver's seat approach to the game uh we're always trying to bring new players into our games um but we uh it's going to be close. Uh, Eric throwing himself under the bus for the evil team was, it seems like a good play there. So let's see what our team decides to do because this could end very quickly here. All right. So first of all, we go talk to our devil's advocate. Hi. Hello there. So you get to choose a living player. And if they are executed tomorrow, they don't die. So who would you like to choose? Can I choose myself? <laughs> you can choose yourself. Well, I think, well, let me think through that without hurt me in any way. Can I choose myself and Alex? You can only choose one person. So you can choose oh, somebody. I can, only use, I can choose only one person. Yeah. Uh, well, then I should choose Alex because I'm the bad team, right? Yeah, so if Alex, if Alex is executed, then y'all lose. Then we all, yeah. So obviously the obvious answer is Alex then. All right, I'll take care of it. Good luck. You're muted, my friend. Uh, hi, Theo. This is our game. We're going to win because Jesse's going to die. That's what I figured you might say. All right. I'll wish you good luck. You don't need it anymore. You don't need it anymore. Good game, Theo. Thank you so much. Good job. No, we Just going to see if you want to assassinate anybody tonight. I mean, I'll, probably what's, I'll stab what's likely Jesse's corpse. Why the hell not? <laughs> All right. I'll take care of it. Jesse, you died in hi. the night. You can choose one player and learn their character. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, okay. Who would you like to choose? Oh my god, this is so much pressure. <laughs> I know. Who would you like to kill? Or who would you like to check? Oh god, I would like to check Ryan. Okay, you check Ryan and learn that Ryan is the savant. Okay. All right, good job, good Very luck. Good. good, okay, thank you. Okay, good night. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to allow Jesse a chance to actually see what their power does and get to use their power. It's uh, hopefully doesn't, not considered too mean. I just wanted to, to let Jesse see what their power does. So that's all that was. Um, Anyway, we are going to go ahead and end this. Thank you all for your patience. Let's go to the end. Somewhere else. All right. Good morning, Goblin Shire. This morning, 
tickled into oblivion by a bouquet of chatty flowers. It's <laughs> Jesse. And... Oh. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. wait so what? Power. Congratulations. Power. Congratulations I used my go power. to the evil team. No! Yeah. I'm still the most confused I have ever been. I used it. I got information. It doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> Who's the e are the so let me reveal? Right. Let's go at the end. Because our remaining players are all evil, the, the game is over. Yeah, so let's everybody. start with Catboy, our fortune teller, who saw Whoa. on day one that either Ryan, Terry, or Eric is the demon. But unfortunately, the thing to know in this game is that our demon was the Vortox Alex. Oh. Stop you for me oh. Yep. Oh. I trusted you. And so all information was wrong. <laughs> Uh, we have our, let's see, who do we want to go to next? We had our very successful preacher, Daniel, who was able to neutralize quite a few minions around this table until uh, he revealed himself nice. and was executed. Uh, we had our unfortunate victory bell, our recluse, uh, who dressed Wait, as a demon, and that's probably why he got recognized as the demon a couple of times around the table. We had oh, Jesse, yeah. our raven keeper, uh, who died on the final night, our final good player alive. And um, <laughs> our last one alive, but was un unable to make good use of their power. We had Messi, our innkeeper, who was bringing people into their uh, into their end to keep them safe. Uh, I and just want to tell who the bounty hunter is to you. But <laughs> didn't end up affecting too much. We had Brad, yeah. our hatter, mm -hmm. who uh, was trying to get killed early on in order so that the minion and demon chains wouldn't have a great effect on the game. Um, but was uh, oh, unable to get that. Yeah, All unable right. to get that to happen. That's why he wanted to die. Yeah. We had Glenn, our alchemist poisoner. Mm -hmm. He was our. He had the ability of a poisoner, though he was told that he had the ability of a devil's advocate because it's a Vortox game, and I cannot get oh. true information. So when Glenn thought he was protecting, oh. he was actually poisoning, because we did. <laughs> we did have That's a. Incredible. We did have a devil's advocate in play, and it was Ryan. Though Ryan ended up becoming the assassin after the Hatter kill, and we had BJ, our original assassin, uh, who assassinated Brad the Hatter on the same night that Alex killed the preacher Daniel uh, and chose to become the devil's advocate to protect Alex on the last night. And we had Grady, our real bounty hunter. Oh my God, it was Grady. Okay, who, I was right, I was right. Who was told wrong information because you cannot get true information in a Vortox game on who was evil because Eric was our evil empath. Yeah. 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 I didn't even know that was a thing. That was so cool. Yeah, they can. Yeah, the bounty hunter puts oh, an yeah. evil yeah. townsfolk in the game. So Eric was our evil empath oh. who had no idea who was on the evil team, was getting inaccurate information all night long. Did he know he was an evil empath? Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I was doing this whole game without talking to my evil team. I was trying to go for the least suspicious people possible. Oh my god. No, I was throwing did shade. Eric, did you know who was on the evil team? Not even a little bit. I honestly, I so originally I thought it was a Vortox game. So this is how the game starts. I, I get told I'm Evo Empath. Vio tells me I have a two, which is obviously pretty suspicious for somebody like of all the evil people, I'm sitting next to two of them. So I thought it was a Vortox game initially. So I was like, okay, so clearly my two neighbors are good. So I killed the recluse. When Victory, when Victor, Victory Bell came out as the recluse, I was like, oh shit. Maybe I'm actually getting real information and Jesse's like on the evil team. Oh so, so I was like, so he gave me a two again Theo gave me a two again for Daniel, so I thought my evil team could have been legitimately Daniel and Jesse. I, I was so I was kind of like keeping suspicion off them. I knew the good team was. I knew there was a real bounty hunter in the game. That's who I wanted to throw suspicion on. That's why I claimed <laughs> bounty hunter from the top of the game because I had oh, one nice. legitimate good target that I could pick out without That's knowing my great. evil team. I knew exactly who I could throw suspicion on, and obviously it was Grady because he was the most adamant that I wasn't the bounty hunter. So immediately <laughs> I claimed bounty hunter top of the game. Go after the real bounty hunter. Get throw him under the bus, and in turn throw doubt on his claims that was the that was the reasoning i had no idea bj was 
A devil's advocate. I, I was just. I was actually the assassin for most of the game. So all, no. the only thing I was told at the beginning was Alex was like, you have to pretend to be the plague doctor, but you shouldn't really tell people you're a plague doctor if you are. So I was like, oh shit, I'm so confused, but I'll really do that. Helped you out because Grady was on your side. I was right. Like, well, and and Grady, I thought Grady was the bounty hunter, but then but then Eric claimed it, and then Brad claimed it, and honestly, I spent this whole game, even though I was evil team, I spent this whole game just trying to figure out who the hell the actual bounty hunter was, and because. <laughs> Everything was so confusing because I knew it was a Vortox game, so all the information was false. And I was trying to track it over here and figure out what was really going on. I've, I've never been so confused in my life. I don't even. I am so proud of my minions. Good job, Ryan Terry, for being the savant. <laughs> so I have questions and comments. First, Alex, you, you killed me Snyder first, Mars? right? I sure did. Why? Um, <laughs> just, <laughs> um, I mean, it was personal. Uh, I, if you want to rewatch the YouTube, I gave it explanations. I tried to kill people who drive games. Um, so oh, go. Oh. <laughs> so it's, I'm, I'm going to applaud you for that. No, I, I applaud. Word, but I wanted to make it look like an Oho game because it was just like a random like role, and you happen just to be a fortune mm. hunter, which is great. I recommend so, y'all look at the uh, the Twitch chat too, because y'all y'all got some fans out there, uh, particularly Eric on how he yeah. played this game. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. So like, I also wanted to applaud you because if I had not died, I would have yeah, nominated died. Eric I, the next day. Eric was great. So I didn't know Eric was uh, evil empath. So <laughs> but, like, no, I didn't know Eric hunter. was. I, I figured. Then, I, I was kind of wondering if, if Eric was the bounty hunter made evil, um, because of kind of how he was playing it. And being kind of very loud and look like he was trying to get himself killed. Yeah, I was. And, and I was. I was positive that he was evil when he voted for himself at the very end. I'm like, ah, oh, he sees what's happening here. He yeah. right. Do you know how many times I forgot I was on the evil side because I was like, okay, Eric has to be evil. <laughs> yeah, let me let me throw it so, to Jesse real fast, real quick. Jesse. Okay. Um. So was Alex the vortex the whole time? Yes. yes. Uh, so you didn't not change in the patterns. Wow. Um, and I was just like, mm. should I be the leech and choose Brad? And I was like, no. So that was really good. So I, I, we couldn't yeah. chat with each other. So I would have died. I think the game would have been done if I had chosen. I don't leech think you could have chosen Brad. Brad. No, I think, I think he was already a living player. You have to choose a living player. Yeah. Um, let me let me quickly. Okay, just... I chose Vortox because I didn't want people to get accurate yeah. information. At um, the... Yeah. I, I still have I still have two questions. Yeah. Um, Brad. Oh wait, no, Brad, you answered yours. You were trying to get dead early, so it wouldn't have affected much. Um, like, so I okay, this is and like my last point is more just like an observation rather than a question. Like the RNG really killed us by putting Ryan, Terry, and Eric on the same thing. And like <laughs> because for two days in a, for two games in a row, I uh, what have you, like we weren't able to identify demons and it's because the two people yeah. who typically suss it out weren't trying to suss it out <laughs> <laughs> well, i was like, trying to suss I, it out i was just giving wrong data same well no here's the thing usually <laughs> well here's the thing you do you have a very specific style of it you were like okay you process of elimination it i did not hear any talk about like any of that so like again i was suspicious but i'm just like i really but with all the misinformation going on i was like unsure so um, like, I'm it's just... To create misinformation by having what seemed like reasonable-ish, um... Yeah. Uh, savant reads. Mm -hmm. And by having what sounded like reasonable-ish savant reads, I was trying to make it sound like, oh, okay, these don't sound like they're crazy. This something that would be in a Vortox game. Like, because some of that sounds like it could be true. Um, and I threw the one in that the minions hadn't used their powers this game as a thing to Daniel, because Daniel would have probably known, uh, like, that, you know, he'd hit some, uh... Ex, uh, that he'd hit some uh, minions already, so the idea that he'd done that and stopped powers from working, he's like, oh, yeah, that might be why they haven't used their powers this game. And, uh, and then that would be a true piece of information in Savant that would have ruled out a Vortox, theoretically, because I shouldn't ever be able to get true information at, at any point. So if, if that... I put, like, little nuggets of things that would be... Also, the, 
evil team being on one half of the circle was actually true. <laughs> we are on one half. Because I also didn't think that was going to be that harmful of a thing to give away. So by doing that, I tried to sow doubt of it being a, what the actual and demon. Let me do one quick thing. I want to check with Brad real fast, because Brad, you've uh, gotten to play quite a few games with this and uh, with some professional players. Yeah. And what is it like to play with uh, our little chaotic mix of, of new and experienced players here? Well, well, certainly chaotic. You know, it's hard to get read on everyone, because obviously I don't know everyone. But uh, yeah, uh, it's good fun. Really enjoyed it. <laughs> How yeah. did you like being the the experimental character, the Hatter? <laughs> well, I was a little, little disappointed. I'm like, oh, I guess I need to get myself killed or stay hidden, I suppose. But I enjoy chaos, so that's okay. <laughs> oh, excellent. Uh, the, real quick, before we will let some everybody chat, but I do want to say th uh, for folks who are watching at home, thank you for watching. And we are here every Wednesday night at the same time, also on YouTube and Facebook. So yeah, if you're there, please, uh, yeah, tune in next week too. But uh, but yeah, I want to check with everybody before we log off for the evening. Of course, our players, if you do need to go, and it was late for some of y'all, feel free to log off if you need to. And we're just going to do a final check in with folks here. So uh, Victory, were you going to say something? Ah, uh, no, it's too late for me. I'm going to go to bed. Okay, <laughs> Victory, thank you. Hi, Catboy, you want to say something real fast? Yeah. Well, no, I want to ask you, so of the raw roles that we have here, who would have you, who would you have given misinformation to night one? Oh, let's see the night one roles real mm. fast. Let me pull it up. So like, uh, the bounty hunter got misinformation. The alchemist got false information. Right. Um, the empath got false information. You, oh wait, first night, yeah, you got false information. And okay. yep, yep, I think that's it. So okay, so Vortox had a lot of chance to like spread misinformation because we didn't get much information to begin well, with. Well, I, I just want to explain my strategy a little bit. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. My strategy was actually to do relationship building and like talk to people and be like, oh, there's sus on people. Like, I would go to Messi and be like, oh, there's sus on you. Like, I just was building on people and trying to throw shade on other people. Like, me and Jesse, like, Brad was like, why are you and Jesse talking? And I was, it was just because, like, Jesse and, and I just like, like to talk strategy and be like, and Jesse and I were like, oh, like, what do you think? Who is the evil team and stuff like that? I don't really care if Jesse uh, trusted me or not. It's just that, like, I wanted. Like some some kind of like shade being thrown all throughout the circle. And you Bad. nominated me. Oh, yeah, who, 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 who nominated you? I remember you were nominated once. Who nominated you? It was Brad. Brad. Okay. Yeah. Or sorry, it was Daniel. But Daniel, I don't know. Daniel. Uh, Daniel. But Daniel, it was just like a pure yeah, social read. Good job, Daniel, for reading that. <laughs> Damn. Damn, if oh, we had I done it. <laughs> Yeah, right. See, I, I tried to win it for us, but no. We, we had enough. We yeah. had enough voting power on the evil team at that point yeah. that it was pretty pretty tough. That's true. Yeah, we, um, had, much we had But I'm curious as to like why you that. chose Sailor Brad because that actually got you not um, on the team, and actually people super sussed you. So like, if there was any sus on like, yeah. it's because Ryan and Eric so were like super Sailor. evil uh, so, or like claimed evil. Then yeah. I uh, made sure that people. Uh, keep the sus people in play. Yeah, would like to, I, I, like, I can read through my thought process why I chose to go Sailor with my Heta role, if you like. Um, so I chose Sailor because one, it's an easy role to go to people got day one and go, hey, I drink with you. Is there going to be a problem to get an idea what people's roles are? Is going to be that claims are people? Just because I want more information on what's going on in the game. Uh, two, I want to try and get killed off early without the evil team knowing I was a hatter. So I wanted to be unexpected hatter so they can't plan for it as an escape hatch or what have you. So I wanted to keep the hatter role uh, quiet but I hope he either killed early or evil team thinks I'm a sailor and kind of leave me alone for, to the end of the game. Either either works. So I was trying to die early or not at all. That's my plan. So that's Kaya. And yeah, sailor isn't a bit be available, so I just kind of stuck with it. Oh, cool. I didn't double have anyone. Perfect. I'll just be a sailor, yeah. I suppose. <laughs> I, guess so. I think it backfired a little bit on you because I didn't kill you at all because I was just like, oh, should I kill uh, Brad? Because I was Perfect. like, oh, I don't want yeah. to do that. I don't want to do that. I mean, he didn't want to die. 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 He didn't want to die at the very beginning or not at all. Yeah. He played yeah. it perfectly. Yeah. Well, and uh, 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 before I forget, uh, good job, Evo. Yeah. yeah really this cool. one, uh, I think Good Good was a little bit on the back foot too because uh, some of our most experienced players are on the evil team in this particular one with Ryan and Eric and Alex. Uh, and yeah, and was the Vortox, it was the Vortox game, so nobody knew anything. Yeah, it was actually really confusing no matter what side you were on. I, no, I wanted to know who the bounty hunter was. And other Vortox, our other Vortox, uh, the other Vortox game that I remember playing 
um, it was real obvious that we were getting all this information. I guess because there was more informational like roles. Yeah. It's more perfect for something like this, where it's more based on like what happened in social reads. There were a lot. I mean, I don't know. There are a lot of information roles here. Like, I mean, like you said. Uh, well, in this Eric. case, actually, there really weren't too many. Uh, you had your yeah. fortune teller who died really early. You had your empath who ended up being evil. Uh, yeah, you had yeah. your alchemist and bounty hunter who I guess got bad information in the beginning, but I don't know if they had the opportunity to suss it out. I and mean, Raven's Keeper was also an info And Raven's role Keeper, yeah, didn't get to use. Get to use. Yeah, so, but yeah. I didn't get to use. <laughs> yeah, so I'm not, I'm not like, yeah, that's... Yeah. Well, let me go ahead and wrap up the stream. Y'all are welcome to stay here after and chat as long as you want to, but I do want to thank everybody for watching so much. Thank you to Brad for joining us too. I hope you'll come back. And thanks to Messi also for coming in for a first game. I yeah. hope you'll come back as come well. Come back, girl. <laughs> I would love to. I'd be honored. Oh, and uh, nice thanks to everybody else. We really appreciate it. Um, and yeah, we'll be back again next week. Um, and until then, y'all have a wonderful night. Stay safe. Have fun, love each other, and we will see you next week. Good night. Messi, pl Messi, plug that, uh, plug that Twitch, bro. Oh, Messi, you want to play? Messi twenty, yeah. Follow me every like Thursday. We play um, a tabletop role playing game. So, yep. Awesome. Okay. We'll throw those links into chat too, and we will uh, go through and edit this and post it to YouTube in a day or two. So, if you want to watch the edited stream that hopefully has a, a complete audio, you're welcome to find us there. Uh, <laughs> until next week, have a great week, guys.